Woot woot. Let's go. It is time. That is right, Jace. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Monkey Puzzle here. Let me look for evidence that I have actually gone live. See if YouTube tells me so. Excellent connection, which is most excellent. So yeah, we're back. I've been waiting for you guys, or you've been waiting for me, so I can play some more Harry Potter. What's up, Ly? Hi, I just wanted to say hi and see you around Hogwarts. Just don't pay any attention to whatever might potentially be going on in the library tonight. <laughs> what are you up to? Are you up to no good, solemnly? So yeah, um, this is going to be my third stream playing some Hogwarts Legacy. I've been enjoying it very much. I was gifted it by Jace there, who in his generosity uh, knocked me off the fence I was sitting on whether I should buy it or not. He gave it to me. So that's awesome, and I have been enjoying it. It's quite a charming game. It is a gamey game, but uh, it's pretty good. Pokey, what's up? How are you? Hiya, hiya. Lai is up to nothing. You're going to be sneaking into the restricted section or something like that? I bet you are. Mm-hmm. So yeah, thank you everybody for joining. I appreciate everyone coming through, whether you come live or you come later or you do some of both. Thank you for hanging out and uh, playing some games with me. Just finished catching up on the last stream and you are ready for more. Jimmy Corona, welcome in. Welcome in. So I did, uh, you are most certainly not breaking into the restriction section. Oh, good. I did a little bit since last time. Excuse me, not a ton, but um, I found a few more eyeball chests. Excuse me. Um, and got a little bit more money. And I went back to Mr. Brown. And I bought this because um, it turns out you are restricted to... Uh, one second. You are restricted to seven potting tables. So, uh, if you remember, I was working on the quest for Professor Garlic uh, to grow and harvest fluxweed and then acquire all three combat plants and use them simultaneously. So rather than just buy them, I wanted to grow them. I was really having a hard time finding dogweed and deathcap, but I found it. And it was only because I knew it had to be a Hogsmeade thing. Um, and I was looking all through Hogsmeade, but it's right up here. <laughs> it's right outside of this. So very cool place. I should actually uh, take you there to go see what's going on here. The joke shop. Someone must have, must have pushed the uh, don't press this button. Yeah, let's go uh, go visit her, actually, just so you guys can see the place. And it actually is easier for me to describe uh, what's going on. So it doesn't get any more cozy than Hogsmeade. It doesn't get any more cozy than Hogsmeade. Uh, so let's wait till day. Only a hairy-hearted sod would cast Flipendo on a cow. Hairy-hearted uh, sod should stick to cast Stupendo on a cow. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, it's up here. Dogweed and Deathcap. The Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Brood and Peck is the, uh, it's locked. That's the one for the, um, the beasts. I can't wait till we get some beasts, but we have no beasts yet. Uh, hopefully that'll open up today. Last time we opened up the broom in the room, which I used for today's title, but I figured we'll just get the full power out of them and they're going to make everything go boom because uh, we're just going to be exploding with goodness. So this is it. This is... Full of the mandrakes. I haven't fed them yet. Dogweed and Deathcap. Uh, Beatrice is quite charming. She had a whole bunch to say to me. She had an eyeball oh, thing. Oh, and she's got one of these. Anymore. We can do that real quick. <laughs> it's my livelihood they're hurting when they do that. Yeah, she's quite Scottish. And uh, she also uh, just has a bunch of stuff to say. So, yeah, she sells... Well... Say we show you the what's seeds for the. You're um, to be reckoned with, aren't I'm you? talking here. Scaring all the goblins. We'll turn away. them down. Uh, she sells seeds for all the combat plants and some fertilizer. So we did that. Uh, let's go ahead and sell that. Always sell your clothes uh, that you're not wearing. 
until we have to worry about trades at least. Yeah, so I bought the seeds for the mandrake, the chomping cabbages, and the venomous tentagolo or whatever it's called from her. Uh, so we can grow those now. I always do a little bit of everything, Jimmy. So we'll do we'll do a little bit of all of it. What do we got? We got a chimney with some smoke uh, on a hill, looking down at some houses. Yeah, we'll do a little bit of all of the above. Some exploring, some main quest. Hogsmeade, here I come. Some self betterment. So where would that be? Oh, you know what? I bet that's just above here, isn't it? Because there is a chimney coming out of the ground. With smoke. And if you look at it that way, oh, yeah, and there is our subject right there. Oh, wait. We want to do uh, that. Lumos. Sorry. I didn't mean to shoot you. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I wanted to catch you up just with where Dogweed and Deathcap is to get your seeds for your combat plants. Uh, get a field guide. It's my livelihood. It's my livelihood. And then that disappears, which is always kind of sad. I think they should stay there, be on display. Um. So, yeah, she sells the stuff for the seeds. And it turns out that once you buy seeds, you always have them. You don't have to worry about the number of seeds you have. It basically just gives you unending access to planting that plant and then to plant that you got to buy the thing from mr brown down here where is he he's down here somewhere um he gave us the first two or the school paid for the first two for free the was it like the small planter the medium planter well, that's zonkos um Kitty. Gotta pet the cats. <laughs> he gets very into it. It's a bonding moment with us and the cats. Uh, here, tomes and scrolls. Take your time looking about. Plenty of wonderful books to stoke. So he mind. has the stuff we need for the conjuration room. And there's a whole bunch of different combinations of potting tables. And oh, these are the beast things up here, which we don't have yet. Um, and then there's some things that seem like they give you random stuff every so often. Hopping pot and material refiner. And somewhere in here was a chopper or something like that. I think this, yeah, this. So we'll get those when we can afford them. But we had a, so you can only have seven potting tables for growing things um so to maximize the amount of stuff you can grow you want the ones that have more than one pot on the potting table and they're the best ones you can get are either this one the one with two large pots um this is two medium pots but i bought the one i saved up three thousand gold and I bought the one with three medium pots, um, which was expensive, but I think it was the best I could do right now. You can get three small pots, you can get five small pots, uh, and then medium potions and T-shaped potions. So I'm assuming T-shaped potions will have like more brewing per thing. I think we're all right with potions though. Um, so yeah, the best ones are five small pots, three medium pots or two large pots um, to get the most out of your seven potting stations. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Different plants have to grow in different size stations, but one that grows in a small station can always grow in a bigger station, or one that can grow in a medium can grow in a large, but ones that can grow in large can't grow in medium small, and ones that grow in medium can't grow in small. <laughs> that makes sense. So I got... I bought the three mediums because then I can at least grow three small things in one station and three mediums. And the cabbages are mediums. So I had to get those. The mandrakes are small, actually. And the um, venomous tentaglo or whatever it's called, 
is large. So anyway, so I'll show you the setup I have when you get back there. I did discover one thing here. Um, well, I discovered that the ceiling is actually covered with books as well, or at least a book-like pattern. Um, but over here, if you interact with this, something happens here. Glad I'm having fun with the game. Seems like there's so much to find and figure out at your own pace, at your own. Yes, there is so much. And the sad news is, is that all my favorite streamers I have not been able to watch lately. It's they're streaming and getting ahead of me. And I can't watch because I want to not be spoiled. I don't want to know what's happening. So there's a chest up here. Um, let's see what's in it. That's it. 44 gold. I thought that there would be something amazing up here to have to find a secret staircase Rebellion. to get up. Uh, secret staircases are still cool. But uh, I guess it was only hiding 44 gold up here. Need one that's an all-in-one station. Yeah, there's no such thing, apparently. Um, so the three medium seems to be the best all-in-one. Because you can grow three small things. I mean, it'd be better for the small things to grow five of them. But uh, anyway, we'll see as we go. How much money do I have right now, actually? I have 300. So I probably don't have enough for the other seeds. Eventually, we're going to just want to be growing all the plants, I'm sure. Unless we decide that we don't want to use those potions. Um, but up at... Um, are just absolutely blowing up uh at the place that sells the seeds i saw you kitty and i ignored you i'm so terrible oh also there's a thing here remind me to check out the graveyard in a second with you guys i saw the entrance to something a tomb but i didn't do it because you guys weren't with me neeps please take well timothy teasdale about. The magic neat. Uh, we could buy a mallow sweet seed. So we got three more seeds to buy. So we're gonna want them all. Now you let me know if there's anything. Because that's my thing. Would. So we need 800 more to get the other two seeds. I don't know what you make with these yet, but we'll find out. No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. Nope, you do. Oh look, we found. Field guide page for the magic neat cart. Okay. Ding, 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 ding. Casting reveal every few seconds might get old. Yeah. There is a talent to extend the range of it, but that seems kind of unnecessary. Seems to go pretty far. Rebellion. But yeah, there's a graveyard up here. That at night is full of ghosts. And uh, somewhere here I found the entrance to a tomb. Is it this? Nope, not that one. So it looks like we could have a little explorer. Hmm, where was it? Is it only at night I can go in it, maybe? That might be a thing, huh? I'm feeling like it was this one. Revenia. This graveyard's not that big. <sighs> Unless it was one of these? I don't think so. All right, let's wait till night. I do have one talent I can use as soon as we're ready. Look, see, yeah, now we can go in it. Trippy. And now the ghostesses are here. Whoa, whoa. A throw in his head. <laughs> Tomb of the Villager.
Yeah, so I went down here. And I got something out of this chest, and I thought, okay, I, is that it? Am I done? But no, I am not done. Oh, there's some bad dudes up here, or down here. How did I get mixed up in this? Ooh. Doing Rookwood's work for him. Why don't we sneak on in? Get ready to beat them up. And the first life you took, can't say I do. There is a what spell I haven't you? used. If you sneak up, called the Petrificus Totalis. Let's see if we can pull it off. No more happy nope. days for you, then, Nora. Didn't you? You're about to wish you hadn't. To regret that. That's okay. Defeat 18 of 20 dark wizards, which reminds me we need to check on the challenges. Because I thought you just got your challenges, but you don't. You actually, oh my goodness. All right. Oh, there's a challenge right there. Um, you actually have to claim them. Uh, so challenges are you. So we have some done. Well, in combat, we've completed defeat 10 dark wizards. Um, but I actually have to click on it to claim the rewards. This one is the dragon hide protector's cloak. So there we go. Now we have it. And then here, defeat 10 spiders. That gives us Spider Slayer armor. And this one is Spider Slayer helmet. And this one is an officer's uniform. Um, and that's the case for all of the challenges. So in quests, apparently we claim some at some point, or it did it for us, uh, top of the class. But here we can get top of the class ensemble, legendary armored attire, lucky leprechaun gloves, and so it turns out the Merlin trials, your incentive to do those is those are the only way to increase your storage. So we have 20 storage now. We can increase that. That was for two of them. Um, next time, if we do five more, we'll get another. So we got some amount more storage from doing that. So apparently those are how you increase your storage, which is awesome. And then I've got some prankster spectacles, Zonko's chief prankster hat, Zonko's chief prankster coat. Uh, this is for collecting pages in Hogsmeade. For collecting them in Hogwarts, I got the regalia spectacles, regalia gloves, regalia hat. That one's not done yet. Highland Explorer cap. And then the room of requirement is not available yet for challenges uh, for some reason. Anyway, that's a thing. And so, uh, yeah, we could look at those if we wanted to and see uh, what kind of stuff that did, like for the hat. Um, which one's new? I can't even keep track anymore. We have so many. Oh yeah, <laughs> we can do that. Uh, that's not very attractive, but we could do that. I got uh, this from the uh, the Twitch drops. Um, I kind of like that one actually. That's pretty cute for a witch hat with goggles. But I've been wearing that because that's my troll slayer hat. Something to be actually proud of. Uh, yeah, that one's probably the best looking hat, honestly. Well, that one's not bad too. Bit of a jaunty angle, though. I'll go back to the Troll Slayer. Yeah. And got outfits and cloaks and all kinds of goodies. That was the prankster coat we just got. Oh, and there's the Dragonhide Protector's Cloak. 
It is looking very dragon hidey. Indeed. Oh, and there's the armor. <laughs> so you can put that with the helmet. Uh, that doesn't look very wizardly. It's just a look, too. It doesn't actually uh, help you. Uh, so what was I wearing? I was wearing that one. I don't mind that. The dark arts robe is clearly the coolest so far. Cause it's the only one that's uh, animated. Uh, yeah, and apparently there's a toggle you can put the hood up too. Let's just go back to that for now. And uh, what else? Did we get a new outfit? We did. Legendary armored attire. Oh, that's kind of good looking. We could wear that. It's got like a little leather bra on it and stuff. Uh, we just got that too. That looks very pedestrian. That's the dark arts one. The lilac ensemble. That's very cute. All right. That's the guard one. Ooh, cobalt de debonair. That's looking pretty nice. Let's wear that for now. Although that doesn't match my scarf anymore. So that's uh, neckwear. What? Which one matches? Or we could just be scarfless. That one's not bad. We might have to put the shiny top hat on. Honestly. I guess that one's not bad. Here, let's just be scarfless for the moment and put the shiny hat on because it matches better. Oh, look how good we look. Look at that. Okay. What'd you miss? Uh, I claimed the challenges and then got some more clothes and we just uh, looked at our look. I just... Uh, saw that you have to claim challenges now there's some kind of puzzle going on here that to get over here we'll have to figure out how to get past those there there's a thing here uh, maybe we have to light this See, Let's use uh, that on. Ooh, what did that do? I bet if I stand on that, it'll turn around. I don't think I have a spell that will stop these. There's like an Arresto Momentum spell, but we don't have that yet. Um, we can raise things. There's also a spell to lower things. I don't think we have that either. I wonder if we can do Wingardian Leviosa on it. Wingardian Leviosa. Nope. Nice Santana Mage look. Indeed. What happens if we stand on this? Woo! I thought so. Oh! I'll trip out. Is that the same room we were in? Okay. Well, that's where we were before. Okay, so it it put me back here. Um. Can I get you to me? Guardian Leviosa. Huh. Was it uh, F and V? All right, so this is to be used for something. Revelia. There's a thing back there. Do I have to leave that on there? Maybe, huh? What happens if we get back up here? Does it take us back? 
does. Who? Does that keep that down? No. Um, stands on its edge. About like that. I go back to this room and then pull the block? You think? Huh. What's that gonna do? We can. Why does it change to that? I didn't even press that. Put the block on the cubby. Okay. Uh, boop, boop. Except I might not be able to get back out of here if I do that. No, that didn't work. It's got the same pattern as that does. Rebellion. Yeah, I gotta get through here somehow. There's gotta be some way... To make that go. Oh. Where'd my block go? Uh-oh. Hopefully I didn't <laughs> lose it. Bug it out. Oh, there it is. Okay, uh... Oop. Back over there. See, this has the kind of the red glowy flame. And this has kind of the red glowy flame. Is it specific about rotation? Maybe. We're supposed to rotate with Q and E? Oh, that's just that kind of rotation. And uh, F and V is just further and closer. I think that ought to be good enough. I mean, they match. I don't know why that wouldn't be it. Bevelio. This doesn't seem like it is. I mean, this is where the block was, but it being there didn't do anything. Hmm, well, we might have to come back. It's, unless one of you guys have a clue. And the way I'm with clues in this game is if you don't know, I'm more than happy for you guys to guess with me. If you do know, please don't say. That's the difference between a spoiler and working it out with me. Maybe set it on fire? That seems reasonable. This does have a fire thing going on, doesn't it? Confringo. <laughs> oh, 
Ha! Hey, Benjamin, what's up? Glax got it. It made a lot of sense because it did have a fire thing going on. Unidentified head item. Okay. Well, that's it. We got an unidentified head item. Yeah, something that's showing fire on it. it makes sense to set it on fire. So that worked. I think that's the whole tomb. This was the tomb of the villager, I think. That one's no muss, no fuss. It just does it automatically. Set everything on fire works. <laughs> when in doubt, set it on fire. Oh, Raleigh! What's up? Just started the first episode. Probably go back in a bit Want to say hi. How are you doing, man? Are you doing any better? Raleigh's been having some rough times. Good to see you here, man. I uh, saw that you own the game. And uh, I recommend it. It's a lot of fun. It's super charming. And it's a pretty good game. It's got some gamey game stuff. Tomb of the Villager, that was the name. Um, but it's a lot of fun. Oh. We're level... What level are we now? 17. Artemisia Monkey Puzzle. Yeah, we're looking quite dapper. And, uh, yeah, just kind of slowly working our way through the quests, but taking our time, you know, how I do exploring and everything like that. But, yeah, man, I hope things are looking... Oh, you just got home? Fantastic. Does that mean you're mobile again? Which I would, that would imply. So I'm glad. I won't share what was going on unless you guys, unless you want to, but uh, just suffice it to say, Raleigh's had a rough couple weeks. So yeah, I'm glad things are on the up and up. Um, all right, let's go back. I sure want you this. Oh, look at the owl. Ha! I have no tolerance for thieves. Oh my. Hand them back. Hand what back, sir? Well, we've not took a thing. Hand them. Back. There's nothing to give, sir. <laughs> He's in magical, they're in magical shackles. Uh, that's all of them, sir. Honestly, He's stealing I'm stuff from Zonko's time. joke shop. Are you pair going to keep pilfering my shop? I swear it was just those ones, sir. Promise, sir. And they keep exploding. <laughs> they keep I exploding. Your antics, <laughs> Their pockets are full you of stuff. Wait till I see your mother. Oh, he's gonna oh, tell your mother. I wonder if we can buy stuff from here now. We couldn't before. Oh, but now he's here. There's still the automatic gift wrapping going on. He doesn't seem to be a vendor for us yet. Sadly. Don't want to sidetrack your stream too much. COVID lungs hurt. Swollen leg is swollen. Out of the hospital now, so on the right track. Excellent. game looks pretty funky. It is. They definitely capture that whole Hogwarts thing. For sure. Uh, so it's pretty neat. Uh, let's get out of town. I'll show you my favorite new thing. I can't use it in town. But we came here. I just came to show people where I was getting the seeds for the combat plants. Doesn't get any more cozy than and uh, we're going to... We're working on growing as many of them as possible in my room. Yeah, we just got uh, this. Woohoo! So we can fly anywhere on the whole map. We can fly all around Hogwarts. And the whole map is huge. I haven't even gotten to it. So there's this. We're here. We can go all the way up to here. This is where Hogsmeade was. And then. The stuff in color is the places I've been to, so I haven't been here yet. And then there's this whole southern part, too. But uh, you are free from as soon as you get your broom, or even if you wanted to walk beforehand, to uh, fly everywhere. Yeah, I got it. I got the one with fire. <laughs> Indeed. He wants a dragon? Can't have a dragon. You can have a hippogriff, though. Or Thestral. 
But yeah, you can fly all around the castle. Castle is amazing. Uh, there is so much cool stuff in it. I just got also my room of requirement, which is like my extra dimensional room. Just, I think it's up in here. Or it's just below this. Oh, you can't land everywhere in the castle, though, unfortunately. Uh, so, I haven't found a way to fly straight to it. We can land near it somewhere. Down in this courtyard, for sure. We can land on some of the bridges. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Oh, that means there's one right here. Excuse me. Well, oh, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. That's just a little side quest. There's like a hundred side quests you can do. A broom is nothing if you can ride the dragons, right? Hey, don't don't diss on my broom. <laughs> it's quite a fine broom. I still am trying to figure out my way around. Why, hello there. Your soothing music will get you nowhere. Alright, what's the way to get to my room? Uh, it's the secret room. Room of requirement. I mean, I can just fast travel to it. But uh, let some... Can I mark it? Oh wait, wrong thing. Secret room. Guess I can't mark it that way. I can mark it this way. Maybe in the DLC they'll give you a dragon. So now I have little dots on my mini map. It'll get me there. Oh, I was in the wrong tower. All right, that's the astronomy tower. go now we're on the right track and the whole all of hogwarts is like every few feet there's something there's moving statues or paintings or ghosts or all kinds of stuff what the bathrooms near here actually oh and you can pet the cats um there was one of those eyeball chests in the bathroom, actually. That now I know how to get into. Yeah, later on I'll be able to uh, summon a hippogriff instead of my broom. But yeah, the mobility you get from that is awesome. These were the bathrooms. Someone's, uh... Doing a little illicit brewing in this one. <laughs> but uh, I think it was the other one that had a... Uh, what are you up to now? The wizard's room. Had an eyeball chest. You have to sneak up on the eyeball chest. Otherwise, they don't let you in. Hmm. 500 gold. There we go. Yeah, you can press Revelio. this Revelio spell once in a while. It reveals secrets, or at least reveals hints for them, anyway. This is a classroom. This is our charms teacher here. There's a friend of mine, I think. I don't find Porsches or smog? <laughs> I think, uh, yeah, right here is my secret room. Falcor the Luck Dragon. Falcor is great.
Yeah, so here's my little personal room. Yeah, so this leads us to what we were talking about. What's up, Daryl? I'm trying to get the most out of the uh, little growing station. So yeah, for now, I've settled on the three mediums. Because that was allowing me to grow the chomping cabbages, which I'm definitely going to use. I, these are all ready to collect, but I can't collect them anymore. Because I have 12 of them in my inventory already. And that's the max you can hold at once. Um, but we can harvest this one. The Venomous Tentacula. So these only grow in large ones. So it would be more ideal to have a double large for this. Uh, and there's some Fluxweed. Fluxweeds have to grow in a large, but I don't know why. They don't seem that big. Um, and these are the Mandrakes, which apparently I'm full up on too. How many of those do I have on me? 12. So it seems like you can only carry 12 of the combat plants. So we're full up on those. So we're ready to do our quest for Professor Garlic. Um, but yeah, in these rooms, you can totally redecorate. You can change the vibe. You can... Uh, all these paintings and things are all optional. I placed all these guys. When I have the money, I'm going to get the double large potting station. And the five small potting station. But we also have this room, too. I've actually been uh, recycling some of the furniture they put in here just because I need the uh, moonstone. So let's go ahead and uh, delete that. Uh, refund the chair. Let's see. There's plenty of natural light in here, so I don't think we need the candelabras. All right, so that refund us a little bit. We could refund all the paintings and stuff, but they spent more time placing those than I ever want to. So I'm just going to try to leave those. But I was thinking about maybe using this room for the horticulture. Because it's getting pretty cramped. In the other one. Alright, got a little bit of moonstone back. But I moved the, um, the identification table over here. And we got that unidentified headgear. And there we got a striking paisley hat. Uh huh. Is it better than what we're wearing? It is. Oh, and it's got. We're starting to get traits on things now. Someone has unforgivable one. Increased damage dealt to cursed targets, which is quite good. Uh. The one we're wearing. Which is not what you see, actually. It's because uh, we've got the um, the transmog on it. Uh, the one we're wearing actually gives us increased damage from ancient magic, which is also good. But it's defense 41. This is 49. So let's go, let's go ahead and equip this for now. Uh, we'll be able to do traits better on our own later. And that's actually not a bad looking hat. It matches my outfit. I like the top hat better, but uh, we'll leave that for a moment. It's a very stylish witch hat. Indeed. Um, oh, and yeah, we have a talent we can learn. Talents are unrefundable, so you have to be careful how you use them. Um, but most of these core ones are pretty good. You do not get enough talents to learn... Uh, points to learn them all. You're going to be a little shy. So. Uh, where'd my cursor go? Hey, ladybugs. Welcome in. Okay, so that increases the range of Revelio. That could be handy, but it seems like the range is pretty good. I'm going to wait on that one. This one would allow the health potions, the Wigan Well, to heal to a greater effect. That's pretty strong. Uh, enemies struck with Stupefy remain stunned for a longer period of time. That's pretty strong. Successfully evading an unblockable attack with dodge contributes to the Ancient Magic Meter. I think building the Ancient Magic Meter can't go wrong with that, right? So either basic casts on Airborne, which we do a lot, or 
dodging, which we do, do a lot, both of those will increase our ancient magic meter. And that's our most powerful magic at this point. I'm tempted between that and the uh, the little the little hyper dodge, the uh, Siri dodge here, uh, we'll teleport dodge. But uh, I think I, me, I do the roll around on the Florio the most. So let's go ahead and acquire that one. I think that's pretty safe, building ancient magic. Uh, we get one per level and Max level is 40, so we'll get 23 more of those. You go core first and then put points where you like. I think that's pretty safe. That's definitely pretty safe. Got something new in the collection. What did we get? What did we get? I don't know. Oh, they're from the page. Oh, here we go. It was the uh, Magic Neep cart. Right. Okay. And then uh, this one. We got a new ingredient. Lacewing flies? No, we've had that. Mallow Sweet. Right. We can, we can actually plant Mallow Sweet now. Let's see what kind of pot it wants. Those are useful for... The Merlin things. So, how many slots do we have now? We had 20. Oh, now we have 24. So that first one gave us four more slots. That's cool. Okay. Anyway, I was thinking about maybe moving horticulture into this room. Because we're filling up the whole center here now. Let's see about, um, uh, we can't pick that up. I hate to waste it. Uh, let's empty this pot for the moment. And Mallow Sweet is small. So we could plant it in here. Okay. Uh, but we, you know what? We were actually thinking about moving everything. Uh, I'm not sure what to do or not. But here, let's just go ahead. We're going to have to just empty this pot. Get this one planted all with uh, Mallow Sweet so we don't run out of that. That's what you need to do those uh, Merlin things. Wasting those cabbages. It's okay. They're free at this point. Alright, so we're growing some Mallow Sweet there. So... Maybe we'll change the vibe of this room because this is the scientific look, which is nice. But I'm not sure it's the most appropriate for growing things. Um, let's look at all the looks again. So that's, uh, we changed it with this one. The alteration. That's the scientific wall. That's the botanical wall. That's the eclectic wall. And that's the gothic wall. I mean, obviously, the botanical one is the best if we're going to grow stuff in here. And I don't mind it. I mean, they're all pretty cool. I don't really like the blue-green of the gothic, actually. And eclectic is cool. I guess let's just go botanical. And let's change this, get some light in here. So we gotta go to this one. It's not as much light as the other room. That's not bad. A room for each element. That'd be cool, except we only have two rooms. Um, I might change this other one back some once I do this. Because I think, since this is longer, it's I think it's more suited for those potting tables. Uh, we need a change all function. Someone was saying that before. I think I'll leave the drawers up there. That's fine. 
So if we changed it, otherwise it would be, uh... It would be that. We'll leave those alone. We can do a little bit of mix and match. Boop, 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 that one. Uh, let's change to... I do like this floor, honestly, but we can change the other one back. Maybe, yeah, that's probably what we'll do. So let's make this one into the uh, botanical floor. And then we'll just keep going along here. Boop, boop. And boop. Ooh. 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 All right, we're going botanical. Although the botanical lets in less light. So that's not right for growing things. Those actually, I think, let the most. Although those are pretty bright. Let's mix it up. We'll do the eclectic window in the botanical room, right? That makes it nice and eclectic. Although, if we were really getting horticultural... These seem to let in the most natural light, the scientific one. I don't know, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Things are gonna grow no matter what. Boop, boop. And boop. Oh, goes to wood. Oh, I like that one. Yeah, I think this is going to be a mix and match in here. <laughs> yeah, we like that one. Let's do the same here. I say we, I mean me. The gothic. Yeah, get a little space. And then we're nearly there. These both do the whole room, don't they? Or the whole the height of it. Oh yeah, nice green man up there. All right, and last one, I think. All right, now this room is fit to receive all that other stuff. Uh, we'll move this back into the main room, I think. Go ahead and refund that. And we can refund you. So we get uh, extra moonstone. Um, so if we're gonna move these, we're actually gonna have to take them apart. Uh, sadly, so you can't move them when they got stuff in them. Okay, empty the pot. Empty. It'll take a moment, but let's get this done, and then we'll go out and have adventures. But I. I got to do a little homemaking with you guys, because that's just me. We're wasting these, but we'll get them growing again. So, I do like the chomping cabbages, because they're fun. The ch cabbages, they go chew up your enemies. So, um, it'd be nice to be able to always refill on those. To do it fully, though, I'd have to dedicate four of the seven tables to them if I use them all every time I go out. And I do have the skill that doubles the cabbages when you throw them out. So, 12 actually gets me 24. So, that might be fine. Now, the Mandrake is more of a stun from the Scream versus the uh, these that actually do damage. I think damage is better than stunning. This thing, you put it down in the middle, and it's like basically a mini turret uh, that destroys everything. <laughs> so uh, the combat plants, I think, is just cool. So we gotta do some combat plant stuff. Uh, we we're gonna do the quest for Professor Garlic in a minute, and uh, she wants us to use all three combat plants at once. 
But yeah, I was a little bothered by having all this in the middle. I mean, it wasn't the worst thing. But, uh, let's get a little bit more Feng Shui in the other room. So, we're gonna have two large planters. And, I think, and, um... Five of the times three medium planters. Uh, we might move potions in the other room. We'll see. Let's go ahead and put our... Uh, what you call it? The desk of description back. So we'll be needing that. Change the color of it. Wow. Okay. So... How to fit the most of those in here. Let's see how they fit. So, we could put them all along the edges in there. But uh, we want the medium times three. We've mainly been using the gothic ones because they seem pretty cool. That's the eclectic. That's the horticultural. And uh, that is the scientific... I think we could change the color of them, too. We really cared. But, uh, I'm cool with the gothic ones. That's not the right table, though. That's the one with one medium pot. We want... This one, the one with three pots. So it seems like that will only get us one there. Can we get it in the center? It only goes back that far. So we get get two in here if we're willing to not be able to go all the way back against the wall. Which honestly seems fine, except we need five of them, so... Uh, how far can they go that way? I think that's as far as they can go against the wall. Yeah. Let's see. Let's put that there. That there. Um, put two over here. Then we'll pick those two up again. And then place we can, can we put this one right in the middle? That's symmetrical at least, but I was wondering if I can fit the two large ones in the space that's left. Oh, yes, I can. Sweet. Oh, this one doesn't fit. Uh, apparently this one... Oh, this one's out of place. All right, let's... Uh, boop. And then I wish there was a way you could just click on and copy, but you can't. So... Big one. What's the front? I think it's there. Alright, we sneak that in there. And then can we fit one of these? Here now. Right, somehow this one didn't place right, so let's pick it up. Unless this other side of this room is just slightly different size, which would seem weird. Alright. Put that there.
Oh, wrong one. Put that there. There we go. Nice and symmetrical. And that is all seven potting stations. You're off for the night. You only fail once. Did you, uh, did the, uh, the restricted area not work out right for you? All right, and let's get all these planted again. So let's see, let's, um, this one will make the venomous tentacula. This one is flux because that's the other large plant. Got caught by a ghost the first try. We well, got to try, try again. And then we've got Malasweet and Ditney. Uh, we got lots of Ditney built up, so but that's is health potion, so we do want to keep that coming. But let's uh, do. For now, let's do uh, two Mallow Sweet, maybe. And then I'm going to plant these all chomping cabbages so we can do a complete refill each time, but. Um, we might decide we want the Mandrake. Uh, but we'll be able to use these at will. At this point. So we'll see if this becomes our combat plant of choice. Screaming Mandrakes in all. Unfortunately, I can't make them scream when I harvest them. I could if I pulled one out, maybe. I don't know if I can pull them out in here. I feel a particular affinity to the chomping cabbages. Anyway, we're min-maxing our horticulture, which is something that I am very likely to do. Cool. And then maybe let's move the uh, potion making into there too, because we... Uh, Oh, does that... Oh, that allows me to pick it up and move it. That's awesome. What did I do different? I see. We'll just put these like that for now. That's cool. I didn't realize I could do that. Is that the three? Oh, yeah. The three does it. That's the um, alteration. Nice. We can change the color of them and stuff too. He's coming red, which I think is fine. Works well with all this. Cool. Yeah. So now, if we wanted, I'm not going to do the whole thing right now, but we could. Uh, we could change this room, mix and match a little bit if it's not going to be the horticulture room. I do like the sun floor. Yeah, I dig it. I'll probably mostly leave it horticultural, but uh, maybe... Eh, I don't know if it's such an idea, a good idea having beehives in here. <laughs> so maybe we'll do this to something else. Although well, a big stack of cauldrons not very cool either. And these other ones are kind of boring. I don't like the color of those curtains. Eh, I guess we'll leave it for now. We'll mess with more of this later. Um, but yeah, now this is open for more of the other stations. For now, oh, we gotta move our horticultural stuff. This G-Con! 
<laughs> There's a lot of brown in this building. Hasn't magnolia paint been invented? Apparently not. We need to get you in here to invent it. Here, we'll put my gardening tools up here for now. Easy access. There's a lot of brown. Um, and all the different styles, really, huh? There, you can get the... This is nice and yellow, but yeah, it's got a lot of brown. The uh, brightest colors I could get on the floor. That's just kind of green and stone. That's got some red to it. And it's not a bad floor, really. Um, and then this one... It's very green. You can get some good greens. That's not a bad floor. I'm not super fond about the parquet, but the uh, little Celtic knot, thorny knot in the middle is not bad. But yeah, it's not magenta still. Um, I've got nice purple hair on my character. <laughs> That's it. And you can talk to Dobby here. He can change the overall I'd like to ask lighting. i changing the room's ambiance. Of He's not Dobby. Yeah. He's uh, Deke. Overall look most appeals to but you. most of them are kind of drab, honestly. You can go cool, moonlit, natural, earthy. This is more of like a brown filter. This, these are both like kind of darker filters. So I just kept it. Actually, perhaps another time. This one's warm and cozy, which is kind of the most like daylight. And it doesn't matter if it's night outside or not. It's always daylight. In here. Anyway, uh, more decorating to come. This one is lighter, brightens the place up. Yeah, it does. It does. Yeah, it's pretty sweet in here. Um, I just like the pocket dimensions. When I used to play Minecraft way back, there was a mod that um, you can make these little boxes you put on the floor and then enter them and they'd have these big old pocket dimensions in them and you can use to like Put all your machinery in and stuff like that. Anyway, these things take a certain amount of in-game time to grow. Uh, so we're going to have to wait on all of them. So let's go ahead and go do Garlic's assignment. I do have to visit the uh, little warlock's or witch's room real quick. So I'm going to be right back. Just give me one minute, two minutes. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Lias, when do you get the second row uh, for spells? This comes with your talents. So once you start opening up, talents are actually in N for some reason. I press T. Uh, over here in core, um, once these open up, there's a certain main quest you have to do to start opening talents up. But um, this one, this one, and this one each open up a row of spells. So I just went for those for ease of use straight off the bat. Um, which means I can open up, I can scroll through four rows of spells now. Which is awesome. Yep. can't put spells in the next one you have to change with the one i have on one line yeah so you need to go down the main quest a little bit um i think the botanical gives me butterflies oh i see oh no there's still books up there okay um 
You can't level 16 and can't do it yet? Well, it means you haven't done a certain main quest yet. So if you just keep doing the main quest line, one of them, when you finish a certain area that's a little difficult, you have to do a lot of combat, um, you will uh, be introduced to talent points. And that opens all kinds of things up. So yeah, you have to put talent points into those three things, and then you shall be able to... Anyway, let's go finish Garlic's assignment. So I have to use three combat plants simultaneously. So we need to go find some bad guys for that. And... Um... So we need to go to a bandit camp somewhere. And I haven't done this one yet, so let's go there. Uh, let's mark it. And we can go... We'll just... Fast travel to the Forbidden Forest. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. These uh, daffodils are hilarious. Okay, so we're supposed to go that way. I've got a Mandrake equipped. The problem with using all three at the same time is we're going to have to re-equip. So maybe we'll throw that down, the Venomous Tentaculo, and then we'll use the other two real quick. We'll do that, throw out some cabbages, and pull out a Mandrake. Something like that. Father Jimbo! You're playing it as well. Welcome in, man. Yeah, I think it's a really fun game. Super charming. Uh, Father Jimbo was level 18 when he unlocked the talents. He did quite a bit of exploring, so you're probably close. Yeah. That is just one of the things that you have to, uh, like I said, you have to do a main quest to open it up. Chickens! Did you know? Let me answer. You can float chickens. <laughs> Quails or whatever they are. Oh, are there some bad guys? Oh, they know about me already. Oh, they're shooting at... Oh, the Doug Bog. Uh, we actually... Uh, need some... Get the Doug Bog. I need another ton. Oh, he already did it. Oh, Leech Juice. Okay, we got the tongue. Thanks for doing that for us, buddy. And we gotta go kick his butt, which we're about to do. Uh, let's see if we can sneak in first so that I can get my act together with these three combat plants. Uh, so we can fulfill Professor Garlic's quest. That's what she wants us to do. She's the horticultural instructor. So of course she wants us to learn how to use the combat plants. Do side quests help you XP-wise? They, they do some. Um, side quests do. Combat does. Although nothing does, I think, as much as the field guides, honestly. Okay, so we're going to get in here. We're gonna throw down this. And then now we gotta switch uh, to these. Throw out some of those. And then switch to the Mandrake. Okay, we did it. And the cabbages. Oh, there's a wolf animagus. Where is it? Oh, he's over there. Are you stuck? Uh, let's, let's get some uh, more cabbages. <laughs> oh. Go get him, cabbages. I'm embarrassed for you. You're putting me, you took Nora well from it. Smack. Cabbages did pretty well. Oh, I almost died, actually. <laughs> I almost died. 
Yeah, the cabbages are awesome. So we fulfilled her thing. We threw all three out. Which I don't, won't normally do. It's just a little awkward switching in combat. But we managed to do that and live. But yeah, I think I'm going to become a... Uh, cabbage guy. Deafening 2. What does Deafening 2 do? So these are... You collect the traits from the um, bandit camps here. That was a trait. So I can now, once I have the ability, I'm going to be able to um, manufacture that trait and apply it to my clothing. But I don't know where they show up here. Collections, talents, inventory. Are they here? Traits. Yes. There's 75 of them. So I just got Deafening 2. So that increases damage with a Mandrake. I've also increased damage with Crucio. Increased damage with Bombarda. Increased damage. Oh, that's Deafening 3. You get some traits... From challenges as well. Oh, like killing mongrels and stuff? Cool. So, if I really cared what I got just now, I could reload and reopen that page or that chest. It's like every time it's random what you get in them. And you can only get stuff from the bandit camps once. The bandit camps will repopulate and you can kill the bad guys as many times as you want. But you can only open that chest once. And get the traits. So, if I wanted to save scum and I could, I'm not going to do that because I don't really care right now. Um, but I could. Uh, I need some, oh my goodness, some horklunk juice. I'm going to grab some of that. I need that for uh, making the healing potions. Aren't I walking past stuff? Revelio. I don't think so. I missed some toadstools over here. And there's a mongrel. Oh, there's a bunch of mongrels I can kill over here. Uh -huh. Have some cabbages. Well, that took care of that. <laughs> Deadly cabbages. Isn't there another mongrel? Oh, they killed them all. You guys are too good. Alright, that's them disappearing. Rebellion. Little bag of money. On the tables? Do that? Oh, hello, dear. They come after me. I'll stick them like a nogtail. Somebody's talking. That is nothing I can grab. Oh, there's something here. Well, I can make the uh, axe chop. Oh, there was a little bit of money there. I almost missed one money. I think Believe that's it. Since I found anything worth poaching near Crancroft. Who is speaking? Is that just like a glit? Oh, there's a guy up there. Let's get down. I can matter. break these boxes, but in I never got anything good out of them. A gold is a gold. It's true enough. Waste huh? not, want not. All right, let's get this guy. What was that? Stop Let right! <laughs> Yeah, so the poachers are one of the main bad guys. The poachers and then the uh, 
The allies of Ranrock. Bad goblin. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Yeah, I suspect so. What is this place I'm in anyway? This is um a treasure vault. Oh. Okay. We like treasure. Revelio. Oh, do I have to jump in the whirlpool? That seems like a really bad idea. <laughs> Alright, let's go. What did we get? Nothing? Oh, we're... we transported. To the goodies. 17 gold. Frameless tinted spectacles. Alright, that wasn't so bad. Are they better? Uh, they're locked. Oh, till I'm level 19. Okay. Well, fine. You like that. And you know what? We got to... Uh, we got to put our other hat on. I mean, this is a cute hat and all. But that's just so much more styly. <laughs> Good night. You'll never leave otherwise. <laughs> I'm not kicking you out. You can hang out as long as you want. Oh, and I got another talent point. Look at that. Another talent point. Um, let's get the other one for the magic meter. And then we'll do the fancy dodge. Yeah. All right. So now we have two more ways that our ancient magic will build faster. It's 422 in the morning. Well, then you might as well stay up till dawn. <laughs> have a good night, Lai. Thank you for hanging out with me. I wish my time was more uh, European friendly. But I will, um, I will be uh, streaming earlier in the day this coming Tuesday. All right. So when we get back out of here, by diving to this side, things that was dangerous at all. It was super, super easy. I should have done that in the treasure chamber, but you're probably fine. All right. So let's go we'll visit the garlic. And we could fast travel, but um, flying is so much fun. You'd be playing if you stayed up. It gets confusing if I watch stream at the same time. True enough. True enough. I could not find the door from the uh, the greenhouses to the outside. So I don't know if there's a place I can land and just walk in it. Seems like you only enter there from this building. Which seems silly. Seems like there should be a door from the outside. But I don't see one. Alright, so what's the quickest way into this other building? Go over here, they're going to make us play... Uh, What's the one with the balls? Here, we'll just come down in this courtyard here. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Hmm. 
Yeah. Where's your gobstone? Revelio. Couple owls up there right now. If she says that, that means there is one generally. And when I just learned too that at a certain height, uh, that yellow bar there, that's your dash meter. It's kind of like stamina for your broom. It runs out, but if you're this close, see how it starts to glow? At that height, you have unlimited, uh, unlimited dash. Graphics are really great with brilliant little things sprinkled all over. It definitely is. How high could her gobstones be? I don't see any gobstones. It's all kinds of... Every one of those, though, is a secondary quest I could pick up. My goodness. Um... Maybe she just said it this time. So last time she said that they were up top there. I'd better keep an eye on high places. Summoner's Court. Yes, them. that's it. All right. Uh, so anything? I think garlic is over here. Whoa! We just walked through the door. She's going to give me... I don't remember, actually. Rebellion. What's that for? Probably for the locks. Perhaps a hybrid. Bouncing. I finished the activities you assigned me, Professor Garlic. Wonderful! I hope you gained a greater appreciation for the flora in our lives. And how deadly I chomping cabbages are. I enraptured by it. Just yesterday, I spent hours pruning my self-fertilizing shrubs and flutterby bushes. Flutterby. Didn't how long I'd been at it until the sun began to set. Well, if there's one thing I love to see more than my plants thriving, it's one of my students doing the same. Now, ready to learn flipping? Flipendo. Chin up. Keep flip things grip, over. And it's all in the wrist. Let's see you give it a go. Okay. You will want to focus with this spell. Nothing as mortifying as knocking back a colleague when all you wanted to do was move a few parts. Flipendo. Wonderfully done. If you'd like to break. So that is this one. Purple one. Flips objects and enemies upwards and backwards. With its short cooldown, it is excellent for setting up extending and extending juggles. Hmm. That means we'd want to put in these one of these combat ones. I try to keep the colors lined up. Um, but maybe we can put it. This is uh, Incendio, which we're not using as much as Confringo. But we do have... Gosh, we need another row. <laughs> we do have an ability that makes um, this one better. But if it's good for extended juggles... It is pretty quick. Ah, uh, this is the push away one. Gosh, I don't know. All right, we'll just put it down here right now. Keep all our purples aligned. Oh, you're welcome to do so here in the greenhouse. Just mind the plants, please. Lavender, look at that. So, but. They're saying that, I mean, these I want to keep up all the time. That one's not as important. Huh. Probably more likely to use it than the Pulso, because that just pushes them away. Maybe we'll do that. 
Just saying it's good for like doing like do this, hit them a couple of times, and then oh oh wait I'm in the wrong one. Oops. Let me try that again. Boom! One, two, three. Keep them in the air. One, two, three. Greenhouse won't keep itself in order without a nudge from me. Yeah, it's pretty important for breaking the shields, right, Father Jimbo? Because uh, even if whichever one I'm in, I don't have to remember the number. Uh, because I, well, I, because I remember it, right? I don't, I don't have to remember different numbers for different ones, basically. Yeah, we'll do that. And then uh, let's put that there. I do need another row, though. Yeah, and then we're going to get more, too, which is going to confuse things. I mean, we could, when we go back to our room, we could always reset this up again. But that seems like a pain in the butt. How about, uh... Boom. Oh, that one wasn't ready. Alright, enough beating up the dummy. Poor dummy. He shows in red. Alright, what are we going to do next? What do we got for quests? Uh, so we got a main quest. Report to uh, Professor Fig. Indeed, uh, we could do some dueling practice, and some spell combination practice. Um, maybe let's go do those two, and then we'll go talk to Fig. So let's go talk to Lucan. There's a chest showing below me. Revelia. Hmm, that be it's through one of these locked guys, I assume. I don't see it. I gotta get to the point where I can unlock locks, man. There's this one. I think we did this one already, yeah. I wonder if that would kill you. Alright, we're getting distracted. <laughs> this happens every time I run through the castle. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, I saw a page. Oh. Central Hall Fountain. But that's not where I thought I saw it. I thought I saw it over here. Maybe it was just a trick of the eyes. But I do try to run around instead of fast traveling all over. I'll never learn Hogwarts. one of these Lumos All right, so this got a tapestry a little ornate archway Where was those? I think the tapestries were up higher, weren't they? Got distracted again.
Did you get the Revelio talent increased range? I didn't think I needed that because the Revelio range already seems to be pretty large. I think it's here. This is the tapestries and Revelio. ornate archways. Where's the flutterby? Oh, there it is. Hello. Lumos. Yeah, if I get the increased range, I'll just be like running all over the castle all the time. I mean, it seems pretty generous as it is. Oh, hi, kitty. Uh, where did I just see this? Gosh, now I don't know where it is. Ah, uh, here it is. Oh. Nine out of 25. Anyway, oh, where am I going? I'm going this way. No ding. Oh, there's a chest over there. It's inside here. I think. Maybe not. Oh, what's this? 42! Yeah, it's in that room. <laughs> I love how crazy it gets. The piping. Whoop, 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 whoop cake and stuff in here? Someone's really hanging out. Oh, yeah. Someone's living in there. I saw you. Lackland the Lanky. A tall, slender wizard who appears quite proud of himself for what precisely no one knows. <laughs> he does look proud of himself. Oh, there's a chest. I can grab you. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is something. Oh, there's a thing up there. You have to hit that or pull it. Or push it. Up, oh, push it. Hey, hey, hey. Give me that. Argyle Shire, a region in Scotland which contains the Hebrides, native home of the Hebridean Black Dragon. Yeah, it was like doing the, um, what's that toy? <laughs> you do that. Pull it, push it, bop it. Violet, if you get here before me, do us a favor and procure some more mead, would you? I believe one of the fellows hanging in the third floor corridor has another frame somewhere with a nice supply. Yeah, so we got a chest. Natural beige scarf, which is not as good. Oh, and there's one of these. Lumos. So that is an archway with a ornate wooden door. Style lanterns next to them. Man, it's so easy to get tangentialized in here. Stone. Wasn't this door? No. Um. 
Rumor has it I think it's this one. It is. Revelia. Oh, there he is. Can we go in there? Oh, we can't. Oh, it was in this bathroom. Okay. Look at your hair. Your glumos. Whatever it is, they'll all want to know your secret. My sister is my spirit. Might as well get these. These uh, pages give lots of experience, so they're worth worth doing. All right, twelve out of twenty-five. Almost halfway through that. Oh, and here's one of these. These are Levioso. Levioso. Alright, a little bit more than halfway now. Alright, let's go talk to Lucan. Future champion coming through. Future champion <laughs> coming through. Uh, let's do... This one's the combo practice. Hello, Lucan. I'd like to practice with the training dummy. Excellent idea. This time will be a bit more of a challenge. Ready? I kind of struggled with the last That'd one. That'd be brilliant. Wonderful. I'll set things up. Remember to cast all the spell combinations before the dummy lands again. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Okay. So it wants us to do... And we're going to have to set up for this. Uh, we're going to need this up here. I have to put it back together afterwards. For the Nakio, and Incendio, and the Levioso. Okay. Success. Nicely done. Is that it? Okay, uh, Levioso, th basic cast three times, Axio and Incendio. Alright, let's try. Incendio. Ooh, wrong one. Okay, you gotta press th three then four. Or no, four then three. Levioso. So the point of that is pulling them to you before you do Incendio. Because it's a very short range. Alright. Accio. Basic. Uh, incendio. One, two, three. Levioso. Two, three. Accio. Incendio. I found the trick with these is really actually to slow down a little bit. Impressive wand work. I'd hate to face you in a duel. Thanks, Lucan. You've been a great help. I'll stop. So they really want you Don't doing that in blush. combat. Seriously, well done. Training dummies will think twice before challenging you again. Plus, you'll be even more formidable in crossed wands. Other duelists had better beware. Better. Indeed. All right, so let's do the uh, actual dueling practice. Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of crossed ones ready? Big match today. It all comes down faster? to this: the moment that we find. When I do it faster, I tend to get extra basic attacks in there. All. Ready for a shot at glory? As long as they're up in the air, you're fine. I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? No. Yes, Sebastian. Then let's get started. He seems a little bit more vicious. We can make this a real victory. That's the spirit. Four? My goodness. Breakthrough red with the yeah, yeah, yes, we knew. I don't use target lock, thank you very much. That's a controller thing. Uh, I'm from the tape. Stupid 
Is the wrong person? There goes my wager. Alright. This is a lot of people. Yeah, I should be blocking. There you go. Why didn't that work? Oh, I was defeated. Okay, yeah, I'm way too slow. Way too slow. <laughs> they made a crop's breakfast out of you that round. Yep, they did. Let's try again. I do. Yes. Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. Okay, and I'm going to switch up real quick. I want to put uh, Confringo back here. I like it. And then let's do some Flipendo. I don't need to do the combo he just taught me. And it's great just to play defensively, honestly. I really gotta block every time. Play defensively. Didn't block. Too much going on. Oh god. Okay. Oh, pressed too soon. I'm almost dead. Yeah, defeated. That's a lot. We might not be ready for this. Let's go. Yes, I'm ready now. I will only Very get well. better. Good luck out there. Oh man. To be fair, it must have been a nightmare coming up with the combat system Guess matches the books and film visuals. They've done extraordinarily good job. They have. It's really fun. Yes. Use Zap I'm Zap. Very well. Good I'm trying to be conscientious about what I'm doing and not just spam. And you also can't just spam uh, when uh, they've got their shields up. Every time I'm doing spells, I seem to get hit. Gosh darn it. I was trying to dodge. 
Right? I doubt it. Blocking is key. Yes. And really, while there's that many people, I need to be mostly playing defensively. Because if you play super defensively, you can't get hurt. It's just harder to do more damage. Right? It's like always blocking. Just always blocking. Doing the stupefy. Which I'm getting the curse on them each time. Oop. Oop. Not always blocking. Or dodging. Take my time. Nope, wrong guy. Yeah, see, I should have blocked. I can't cast my own shield. Not, I can't keep it up. Care to try again? Oh, use cabbage? Can I use cabbage in here? Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. I can heal? Oh, if I can heal. I thought that that would be like... Bad form in a fight. Oh yeah, look at that. A load of cabbages. I can heal. Oh, look at that. That's cheating. You guys gonna die or what?
did it. Some big hits that round. <laughs> Stopping to eat usually is considered bad form in a fight. What's a victory! You've won the tournament! The cabbage didn't attack. I'm just pleased to have done as well as I did. Did and they we're not? pleased to have such a gracious champion. Now, to the victor goes the prize. I was a little overwhelmed. And so it is my great honor to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment. Thank you. Thank you. It's been an honor. You earned it. You are a duelist to be reckoned with. Now that we've definitively As long as I can heal, winner, I can be as crummy I as I need get to be. I <laughs> wonder how my herbology plants are doing. I haven't tended them in ages. All right. What did I get? Cross Wands Champion Garb. And I completed uh, six out of ten side relationships. Shame it's over. I was just getting started. Uh huh. Talking smack. The best duelist won, I suppose. Mm hmm. Lost to a new student. Hmm. I didn't see that coming. You can't be B, can you? But Sebastian, he doesn't have anything to say to me. She's mad that I didn't include her. Alrighty, well we did that. So now we said we're going to go do the, um, not that, but the uh, ma oh, main quest. Well, let's check out the gear. What have we got? We got a new neckwear. Which is not as good. So we won't do it. Um, I'm gonna do quests. Map chamber. Let's go report to Fig. It'll be this way. I feel like I need to do the duels about a dozen more times, and then I'd get really good at it. The problem with this game is I like the combat a lot, but you don't get to do it often enough. Hopefully there'll be more combat opportunities as we go along so I can get a little bit more fluent in it. I do like it though. I think it's cool. Pavelio. You fight a lot later? That's good. Oh, kitty. I would love to pet you, but... We have to save the world. Professorus Figicus. You can be like you and just wander in the Forbidden Forest. Yeah, we can do some wandering in the open world. Get our combat on. I was hoping to see you. You're back. Finally. Minister Spavin talks more than he listens. Ranted on and on about rogue dragons. Wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which... Listen, Professor. So much happened while you were away. Eldritch Diggory's portrait in the common room told me about his great niece, Helen. His great niece? Yes, she used to be an aura. Well... She took me to Azkaban to meet Anne Thisbe. You went to Azkaban? Quite an experience, but you see, Anne knew Richard Jackdaw before he died. So I had to find his ghost. Who on earth is Richard <laughs> Jackdaw? He was a student here long He's ago. He's never going to understand and all this. He told me about a secret cavern. I went there, and right next to Jackdaw's skeleton, I found the missing pages. You found the pages? I did. And because Jackdaw had followed the map they contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not, it's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? Shall we? I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, and we'll need to bring the book. Okay, back down to the map room. The room is enter. called the map chamber, by the way. And a portrait of Percival Rackham awaits us there. Professor Rackham. I look forward to meeting him. How did this Jackdaw get the pages from the book? Evidently, Peeves stole them, and Jackdaw stole them from him. Oh, Peeves. Safe travels, 
travels, my young friends. I guess even though you're not lit, you're you're working. Last to time getting down here was a big old fight. This time. I gotta remember to grab good screenshots in the cutscenes. No, Percival. This looks promising. And we were supposed to find out why this is called the map room. I don't know if that's safe. A map. There's Hogsmeade. And over here, the Forbidden Forest. And of course... The oh, room does boating very well. It does. Main story time. I'm ready for it. If only you were here to see this. He's talking to his wife. What do I got to do to speak to it? it? Wants me to stand here. Hello, Professor Rackham. We've placed the book on the pedestal, as you asked. And this is my mentor, Professor Fig. How do you do, Professor Fig? And you, my young friend, see now why you needed to return with the book? I do. I also see why you refer to this room as the map chamber. That you have come this far tells me that you possess extraordinary magical ability, the potential and power of which will unlock should you prove yourself worthy. The location of each of four trials will, in time, appear on the map. Trials that will test you and give you access to invaluable knowledge. Trials that you must complete on your own. Do you recall the pensive memory of on my in own. my vaulting Gringotts? I do. You and your friend Charles spoke of the port key. And of trials you'd created for one who sees traces of ancient magic. Precisely. Charles is another of the Keepers, a designation we gave ourselves centuries ago, in light of the knowledge that we have been bound to keep hidden. Until, perhaps, now. So, the passage from your ruins to Gringotts, everything in the vault, the restricted section, finding this room, none of these was a trial. They were an important part of the journey, <laughs> but they were, they were not a trials bit of one for sure. The fact that you have come this far, however, bodes well. Now well, there's that the boating. The trials were designed to ensure that the power and knowledge we have kept secret for so long does not fall into the wrong hands. They will test your abilities, both innate and learned. But of equal importance, everything you witness as you complete the trials will inform what you choose to do with all that we share. You will need patience. We have tripped across the some trials plots. have much to Indeed. teach you. It will take time. Now I'm afraid we don't have the luxury of time. We have waited this long, Professor Fig. Surely a few more. Respectfully, sir, while I do not know the secret you keep, I do know that our young friend here has seen traces Traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. And we encountered I'm Hufflepuff, a Father powerful Jimbo. goblin wielding such magic as we prepare to leave for, your vault. For whatever it matters. We may already be too late. This is grave news indeed. Young friend, do you trust Professor Fig? I do. 
Then, in the light of your considerable skill and all you have already accomplished, we shall begin. You will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. Whilst Professor Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with our ability. Shall we have a look? So, yeah, I chose Hufflepuff because I, I just like the common room the it's best. It's not far. <laughs> so you can tell you by my decorating of the room of, her, of requirement. I believe I have. It looks familiar. <laughs> Perhaps your young friend is more well-traveled than you might think. As your mentor, the least I can do is go ahead to make sure it is safe. Join me as soon as you can. I will... Do you know anything about the tower? You said that you know that tower. What can you tell me about it? Not much, I'm afraid. I've passed it dozens of times. It's north of Hogsmeade. My recollection is that it seems abandoned. Clearly, however, the tower conceals more than meets the eye. I'll see you there. I'll find you at the tower as soon as I can. Until then, be careful. And do not tell anyone where you're going. Okay. Slytherin, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> I took the online quiz and got Ravenclaw. I Yeah, the online quiz gave me Ravenclaw, too. I thought the quiz was kind of lame, though. Um, I just picked it for the common room I liked the best. And it was between Ravenclaw and it's Hufflepuff. It's time Glacius, the freezing spell. Oh, it the is freezing an spell. way to cool down a heated situation. But first, I will need you to complete a few tasks. Once you've done that, come and see me. No, I wouldn't mind having that. Okay, um, let's look at our quest. I mean, it seems like a good idea to uh, get as many spells as possible before we go do more main story stuff, right? There's definitely going to be some combat there. Glacius. Yeah, let's get, get that. Too bad there wasn't a warehouse. <laughs> well, the uh, room of requirement was kind of a warehouse in the beginning. Um, Let me grab a shirt real quick, guys. I'm a little cold. I'll be right back back Hey, Bob Wallaceak just joined or subscribed. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy it. 
I love it when you make the chimps dance. Okay, now I should be a little warmer. It's very cold here lately, which is not very cold compared to a lot of the rest of the world. <laughs> Was Hufflepuff the stoner house? <laughs> kind of sounds like it, huh? All right. Uh, what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to pop balloons over Hogsmeade Station and pop balloons over the Quidditch pitch? Okay. Do I just fly through them? I wonder. Uh, is this my way out? No, this is not. What's down here? This doesn't look accessible yet. Bavelio. All right, that's later. You can't imagine. I can't imagine. Is this the way back up? I think so. It ends under Hogwarts by that statue of the dragon. Oh. Who's that? Disappearing. Ah, yes. Here we go. <laughs> She's chasing them with a cleaver now. All right, so we need to get outside. Ha. So, Quidditch pitch. In Hogsmeade Station. Well, there's some balloons. Do we just ride through them? Indeed. I don't know why she needs me to do that. It's a silly task. Especially for a Glacius spell. We do still need to get the best time here. We're still only in second place. Challenge unlocked. Pop balloons. Okay, and then we gotta pop them over Hogsmeade. Dragon Topiary. <laughs> Trying to stay low enough for unlimited dash. There's another Merlin trial. It's so pretty, it's sad to pop them. Pop. I feel like it's such a spoil sport. Um, where are more? Oh, there's some. Do these count? Those are different, right? That's not Hogsmeade Station. <clears throat> All right, here we go. One more. 
this is where this game gets very gamey. And silly things like this. Not that this is terrible or anything, but, you know. It's a little bit make-worky. Although it's not as silly as finding, like, school uniforms in, in dungeon chests. It's probably the silliest. I need one. Oh, there it is. Brilliant. There we go. All right, now we can return to her. Helps calm my watches down after that fight you were in. <laughs> yeah, a little chill moments. Where am I supposed to go? She's right up there. Huh. Oh, this was the broom teacher, so that makes sense. Tasks? Okay. Madam Kogawa, I completed the list of tasks you assigned. Wonderful. I trust you became more familiar with your broom through the process. I did. Yes, Professor. That's good to hear. Keep it up, and perhaps one day you'll have a spot on the Quidditch team. If Black ever permits Quidditch again. Well, with we those tasks out Quidditch. of the way, let us get started. Glacius. The whole time I was saying to that your yourself work. that you could never play this game, fingers aren't nimble anymore. Well, there's a lot of uh, accessibility options. There might be some to slow things down. Glacius. It was a glacier. Well done. I'd recommend that you practice your new spell here in my office before taking it out into the world. These guys are always very trusting, letting me do spells in their office. Ah, uh, so Glacius is a yellow one. Here we could do a different yellow one there. <laughs> okay. Levioso. Oh, wrong button. Need to be in this one. There you go. Catching them quickly. I heard while they're glacius that you can like. Glacius. I think it's learned its lesson. Bust them. But do continue to practice as long as you like. Kinesthesia is a powerful learning tool. Level two unlock. Do you prefer a controller for most games? I never use the controller. I never had a console, so I'm useless with one. It's only what you're ever most familiar with, right? If you're most familiar with controllers, then those seem easier. I prefer mouse and keyboard one because I just prefer the the uh, more control over the look and aim of a mouse. I'd rather be able to just go straight to something than have like movement over time, like you do with a controller. Um, it's just it's just way more precise, and I like having all the keys. Controllers don't have enough buttons, <laughs> but then the problem with having all those keys is you have to be able to find them. So yeah, but yeah, I I always prefer mouse and keyboard. Until one day I make myself use a controller more, and I might get used to it. But it just, and, you know, and I always say the thing I like least about the controller is you have to be relying on lock on, um, because you have to take your hand off of view in order to press the buttons, and I. Never want to take my hand off the mouse. So, yeah. But to each its own, you know? If you're more familiar with that, then that's great. Uh, let's do the hidden herbology corridor real quick. Because that's kind of up my alley. 
Uh, and then we'll do, go do the Rackham's Trial. And there's so many more side quests we really could be picking up, too. So we're supposed to go for this. You only started playing games back in 2013? I started in 2000. When I was 31. <laughs> so I started late. I started late. You with me, MP? Uh, Father Jimbo? Tried to learn controller playing Jedi Fallen Order, got frustrated and just went back to keyboard and mouse. Yeah, I mean, I play things with keyboard and mouse. People say, well, how could you play that with keyboard and mouse? Like, you know, I play Souls game with keyboard and mouse. And prefer it. But I'm a weirdo. These dry vines are one spark away from becoming kindling. Oh, it's hint, hint. I wish she didn't give away the answer when I first got here. Hidden herbology corridor. I wonder if this is my way in from outside. Ooh. This must be the entrance to the hidden herbology corridor. Confringo! Rebellion. Devil's Snare seems to thrive in darkness. Perhaps it doesn't care for light. See, this keeps giving Rebellion. me all, all the hints. Lumos. Deep. My character is a spoiler. You were in your 60s when Nem taught you Minecraft on PC? Well, that's a great time to start. Ha. Yeah, so we're Rebellion. meant to go through there. Of course, we have to look up here now. Lumos. This is a similar thing. Do they not? Oh no, that's a different one. Revelio. Oh, how do I get to you? Can I jump? Yeah. Blue leather gloves, which are better than mine. No trait. This one has increased damage with Confringo. This does not. It's only two higher. I think we'll wait, actually. Couldn't kill a chicken? Well, I'm sure the chickens were grateful for that. Lumos. Yeah, my reflexes are not the greatest at my age. If I can't, like, keep up with, like, how fast my son plays stuff, Rebellion. but, uh, I am stubborn. Lumos. So I get through things with just sheer stubbornness, as you've seen. A little griffin. of some kind. Indeed. Silver half rim spectacles. Yeah, must protect those. Little lectern. <clears throat> Today's lecture is on the devil's snare. 
Pay attention, class. Confringo. Is that gonna keep this lit? I think so. Nem is really enjoying it. Yeah. I imagine a piece of that enormous venomous tentacular would be enough for Duncan to prove his bravery. Confringo. Why are you not lighting? There we go. Yeah, I'm so I'm supposed to Prove the bravery of someone who was not brave enough to come in here. That looks like it's gonna hurt me. Just walk right up to it, huh? Okay. Revelio. Guess that's all the goodies. Can we light these up? Confringo. We can. I wonder if they'll stay lit the next time we come down. That's two of the greenhouses. I wonder if we can get in there this way next time. I we'll have to test. Collect you. Oh, we haven't been in this one yet. This is a new greenhouse. Revelio. Oh, we can get lots of these. To learn Arresto Momentum, the slowing charm. It allows you to freeze objects or people in midair. Simply complete a few tasks and then come and see me. Cool. Unidentified neck item. All right. Well, we are full of the uh, what's my columns? Oh yeah. So we can go back that way. Sweet. Um, let's make a quick trip to our room. Uh, we'll just uh fast travel this time let's identify our unidentified stuff and grab some of our plants cerulean runic scarf stock up on cabbages again Mallow sweet, some ditany, flux weed, whatever that's good for. All right, we have our capacity of cabbages, almost at our capacity of uh, venomous tentacula. Uh, let's look in here. We can make two of those. Wigan welds, one there and one here. Sweet. Let's see if we can make anything else. Ah, oh, we can. We can make some Eduris. Thank you very much. These take longer. I wonder if we should make some more potion stations, maybe. We need the, uh, the multiple po potion stations. 
Okay, we can collect this one. And we can make focus too. Let's do this first. I mean, most of the potions seem kind of optional, except for healing. There is a talent which uh, makes the Adurus potion m makes you invulnerable for a period of time. Which seems pretty strong. Pretty darn strong. But even now, these are uh, basically armor. Making that. Twenty seconds, it's very strong. It reflects spells as well. Yeah. That is strong. Oh, you mean when we get the talent though, right? So we don't know how to make Maxima, Invisibility, or Thunder Brew. Maxima is probably the one I'm most interested in. Is that that um, increases spell damage? Yeah. Oh crap! I didn't mean to do that, but uh, that means I can do that in here. <laughs> okay. All right. So, oh, let's get this spell or potion. Focus. Okay. And let's get the cabbages up. Like our cabbages. And then I think we had some stuff to sell. That's better. And we learned a scarf, right? Increased damage with Crucio. Increased damage with Confringo. That's the one we're wearing. Those are actually some pretty slick glasses. <laughs> I'll leave those on. I think we don't have anything else to uh, check out. What's up, Sir Garwin? Welcome in, man. How you doing? Alright, let's get Arresto Momentum. Which, what does she need us to do? Practice flying near the spires. Where's the spires? Over there. That's the spires. And we need to open up this area anyway. Okay. Let's go over here. Resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Revelio. Well, this, I wonder when I get the unlock thing. Oh, we got a mongrel. Poor doggos. The thing about the potions and everything is you can only have one up at a time. Revelio. Those the uh Well that's the lace stuff. Alright, I guess we'll pick up whatever was here. Lace wings. See, that's the problem with Revelio. <laughs> Can't get anywhere. There's something down here, too. Oh, some Moonstone. We need that. Revelio. Oh, we were running low. And some leeches. Let's juice them. 
Oh, they're all over. I think they don't jump on you. That would be terrible. Oh, oh, here's a debug. Less of a debug. Apparently, it's only when they stick their tongue out and blow them. And then you're supposed to use the, the other one. Hold on. You're supposed to float them and then use this on them. That was in three. Yeah, that does big damage. I wasn't cooled down yet. Okay, now we're good. Do it again? You lift them up by their tongue and then you slice them. Poor guys. But we need their tongues. Alright, let me not press R. <laughs> Let's just go do this. So we gotta do balloons up here. It's feeling very bouncy here, like it keeps lowering me. Nope, missed it. that since we're here let's go ahead and do this uh merlin trial keep working on getting more inventory space what do you have in store for me this time Revelio. Rocks up there. There's this thing here. Usually there's some balls to put in that. There's the balls. And for that, we need. Uh. Boop, boop, boop. Let's get. Uh. Accio. Back up there. I'll put you there. They're all rolling down here by themselves. with me, you errant balls. Okay. Show me the other one. Ah, oh, here it is. I think they're all the way up there. Wrong thing. There we go. No.
Revelio. Huh. What's happening here? The patient's symptoms include pockmarked skin of a greenish hue, sparks sneezed from the nostrils, and a green and purple rash between the toes. Textbook case of dragon pox. Possibly lethal. Indeed. It looks lethal. I have prescribed a second dose of Gorsmore Cure, but it may not be sufficient. As such, I have further prescribed an elixir to induce euphoria, to ease the patient's probable passing. Must sanitize my equipment. Highly contagious. Oh my. Dragon pox. I hope I don't get dragon Rebellion. pox. I don't want it. Alright, that's it. Uh, didn't I press it? Yeah. There we go. I'm looking very merry prankster with these glasses. Can they come up here? Or do I have to levitate them? No, they can come up. Oh, we're missing one. Oh, there it is. This is where extended range comes in handy. Yeah. We may get that at some point. I just, I have a love-hate with Revelio right now, because it makes me find everything, but then it makes me find everything. <laughs> okay. Um, now we got to do this somewhere else, but there was um, some stuff here. Might, might as well do these, right? What is, what is rotate? Zoom. I don't remember. Uh, but there's spider lair and a treasure vault. Let's go get him. What's this? Oh, that's the Quidditch pitch. Okay. Some spiders. Potato. You got a new one. Does something. Get something to pick up. I'm trying not to use my. I want. Uh, oh, I guess it's got to go back to that one. Oh, this is here. What am I missing? This. No. 
of this. All right, let's just go up there. Oh god, got it. Hey, none of that business. Give me this. Oh, I'm full. I don't know what that does to them. I need this one's better on this guy. Thank the you. big ones. That was pretty good. Why don't I get the X option on the big guys? I don't know why. And I really should be doing um, the light attacks in combos of four if I was really paying attention because uh, it does more on the fourth attack. Like one, two, three, four. There's way more damage. <sighs> Shame you're so foul. He got stung by a bark scorpion when he was five. Hey, Darkest Sands in India. Some about this game has pretty bad arachnophobia. Is that one quest for him? He's 23. <laughs> How you doing, Dark Assassins? Yeah, I am, do not have arachnophobia at all. Generally, I think people who have it need more exposure to nature. Because nature is so sci-fi. Are these horko? Oh, we need those. And so it's hard to get used to how creepy it is, but... It's just the nature of, of nature. Not everything is warm and fuzzy. Alright, these are just the movable boxes. Yeah, I'm just going to need to keep working on the... Um... Oh, crap. I just threw those out. Which, actually, I should have done earlier. I wanted to do this. So that I can do this. Which I guess not all cobwebs are burnable. Alright, so we got to do something to get in here. We got one of these. Which generally we're supposed to put something on. Repairer. Nope, wrong button. Wingardium Leviosa. This one. Not do anything. How do I feel about Hogwarts and map design? I am feel awesome artworks and design. Looks like real Hogwarts from movie. I love it. I think they did a great job. Honestly. It's yeah, they did a really good job. I had a spider jump down on me from the ceiling when I was a kid. There's still a big nope. You're so much bigger than spiders are. They're really kind of defenseless compared to us. You know, unless a poisonous one gets you and then you get some necrotic tissue. That's something not to mess around with. But for the most part, they're totally harmless. And we are these big, giant guys afraid of them. Which is the silliest thing ever. I mean, you know, oh, that's what I need. I mean, when people decide to be scared, you can't tell them not to be scared, but... Potato. We're so much bigger than they are. 
The only thing that really makes them scary is that we can't see them well enough most of the time. And when we actually see them, we go, ooh. Incendio. All right, what did I do with the thing? Oh, there it is. It's back. You really love nature and designs in every game? Yeah, I, well, I love it, especially when they do a good job, like they do here. Knock this other thing out of the way. Yes, we can. And then last time, this wanted to be set on fire. Incendio. Maybe it needs to be all the way down like before. Wingardium Leviosa. Incendio. Huh. That doesn't seem to be doing it. Do we need to move uh, this thing out of the way? Boop, boop. I gotta get better at scrolling around through my spells. Okay, you get out the way. You might just be to climb up in here. Let's try that. But why aren't you doing anything? <laughs> Alright, well, let's see what's up here. And why didn't bite you real bad? Hand swelled up real bad? That definitely can happen. Lumos. This looks intriguing. I work uh, outside where there's tons of spiders all the time and I've yet to have a bad experience like that. Some places have more poisonous spiders than others. I mean, if you got poisonous spiders, you definitely have to uh, know them and be observant, for sure. Revelio. Um. So I feel like if we get that thing right out there, this will become a passage, yeah? Oh, there's a chest. Over here as well. Where's the chest? Unless it was this box we were looking at. Uh, maybe we needed to be up here? Confringo! Hmm. Revelio. What else could there be? <laughs> there, was there anything else over here? Oh, I bit you when you were sleeping. That wasn't very nice of it. Oh, more guys, huh? The back. Eight legs is simply too many. <laughs> oh, don't tell me my character's arachnophobic, too. Okay, so there's nothing else there. Except regenerating spitters. Is there anything else I can do with this? They shows flame. Hey, saving you from not being able to sleep again, Westane. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> uh, maybe we need to flip this. Let's try a uh, flipendo. That didn't work. What if we levitate it and then flip it? Uh, so we got to go boop, boop, boop. And then 
Oh, that doesn't work. We can maybe use this. It doesn't seem to work on it. And maybe it doesn't need to be flipped. I don't know. Well, maybe if we put it up here and roll it down. Uh, I mean, it didn't really matter before. What's the push one? Do we have that up? We do. Well, that did some spinning. Sideways now. Incendio. Oh, it's glowing now. It's glowing. I should investigate. Did that do anything? Something to pull there? Rebellion. Not really. I mean, there's these three rings. But they don't look interactable. It's gotta be that thing outside. But what? Take the block into the cave? You think so? Yeah, that's definitely glowing. Alright, I'll take the block into the cave. Oh, excuse me. There was a chest when I was behind it? Where'd it go? I don't know what to do with it. Revelia. Oh, look! chest now. Okay. Oh, so it's only from behind. Oh. Clever. Hi, Pookie. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, so you can only see it from one side. Got it. I was waiting for it to, like, become a passage. That was not the thing. So we did activate it with this. Have a good night, Pookie. Thanks for hanging out. All right, we got that. And then was that also counted as the um, the treasure? It did. Nice. Okay, and we had to do the other part of her thing, which was over here. Keenbridge. Now, let's make it daytime. Sorry to steal Pookie. Hi, Nam. How dare you steal your mother? Sometimes you change from evening to night. There we go. Repair. We'll just have to, you'll have to stay here instead. No, that's not what I wanted. I wanted that. There we go. Yeah, you'll just have to stay in 
in lieu of her. What's this? Revelio. Oh gosh, it's another Merlin thing. Is it not? What's this? My goodness. Not gonna make it ten feet. Revelio. Hmm. There we go. There had to be one of those. Solar protection spectacles. Oh yeah, Ashwinder eggs, always useful. Is this a Merlin thing or is this something else? What's something else? As I done. I made it light on fire. Oh, hi, Al. You have two monitors, you'll stay. <laughs> Grabbing your diet Kool Aid. <laughs> Don't drink the Kool Aid. So, what did this do for us? Besides do fancy uh, flames, I don't know that it did anything. It doesn't glow blue anymore. Well, I am focused on playing the game. You know, and if you don't do all the side stuff while you're there, you never will, Rebellion. really. Huh. Okay. Well, say lovey. It's just a challenge. She have more balloons for me. Oh, well, there's a bunch of those around. Okay, well, those are they're pretty simple. Just saying. Yeah, Dark Assassins, if you're still here, one of the things I like best about the map is the whole thing feels like the Wizarding World. Like, it doesn't just feel like random countryside out here. It feels like, um, you know, everything fits into the theme which is tricky that's sure not easy to pull off just like flying the brooms not easy okay <laughs> you get an outfit or something for doing that okay Boop, boop. Oh, missed those. Doesn't really matter, though. Crap. Boop. <laughs> I, need a, I need a broom with a better turning radius. Oh, man. It's embarrassing. There you go. Embarrassing. Miss those. Miss those. That's We're it. done. Revelio. We're done. Oh my God, there's all kinds of things here.
The flight is frustrating to you too. Wish you could steer with mouse up and down as well as side to side. Yeah. The control and space are a bit awkward. Oh. So butterflies just mean there's butterflies? Yep. What is that? A kaleidoscope of butterflies to follow. That's where we're supposed to follow them. They were behind me. Revelia. Something over there. There's more butterflies. Okay, that's something for my room. A jobber knoll statue. There seem to be butterflies everywhere. Now they're gone. Whatever. Or maybe I was just supposed to find the chest. Okay, got it. So we did it. Anything else cool near here? What do we got? There's a flu thing here. We might as well grab this. And there's a castle or something up there. It's not marked with anything. Well, let's mark that so we grab it. Let's check out the thing that was up here. Where was it? Uh, was it this thing? Revelio. Oh, this is a bandit camp. I hope Rookwood knows what he's doing. What's this? Fine. All right, we get a little combat I'm practice here. More times than I can count. They're incapable of defending themselves. Mm, nothing here. Revelia. Apparently not. Right, let's kill some bad guys. Let's see what spells we want up. Doo -doo -doo. I need I need more spells up at one time. <laughs> That's what I need. Um Let's put this here and put this here. Although we need those two together when we do the frogs. I don't know. Alright. Levioso. <laughs> Sorry. What's up, buddy? Did you hear that? <laughs> oh, oh, ah! Stop complaining. Up. 
Oh, you know what they didn't do? Stand and fight me. Cabbages. What are you folks Go get him. Go cabbages. They did great. <laughs> Oh, we got some deals. Oh, I turned him into a chicken. <laughs> Bad chicken. Cabbages are OP. Yeah, the sheep need to get out of here. OP cabbages. Pick up all the things? I think so. Rebellion. Oh, there's a chest in there. I brought no cabbages. Predictable. Oh, Inferi must be struck with fire spells to make him vulnerable to other attacks. So these are inferi. Okay. Where are they? Oh, these are the inferi. No. no. That's just an Ashwinder assassin. Oh, I see. Hello. You good? It's nightwear. Okay. It's a bad guy over there. And no one to share in my victory. They're like zombies. Yeah, I didn't see any zombies in there. That was Perhaps weird. not the best place to be caught alone. Revelio. There's another guy over here. Watch out, sheep. I don't trust Ranrock. I'll tell you that. Let me you see. Oh. 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 Let's see. Rebellion. Getting a little combat on. When do I get the unlock spell, man? So there's a chest over there for um, traits. I saw. In here somewhere. Oh, hi. Wait till Sebastian hears about this. An Ashwinder. Not my first. Let's 
so this, um, let's save. Mm, do this one. I mean, just in case we get something really crummy, I don't know. I mean, I guess eventually we get them all. Manipulation one. So what is that? These are, I guess, in collections. Uh, traits. Manipulation one. Imperial target does extra damage. Revelio's all the time. Not to say you can't change your mind, just that you get distracted. Too many missions include side missions. Well, you know, once you're out in the open world, it uh, it's kind of efficient to do some stuff out there. But the thing I was doing was, uh, I got to return to Madame Kagawa. I was out here to pop balloons, was all. Uh, so now she's going to give me another spell. Trouble's brewing, and I'm without my friends. So anyway, I'm going to let that be. I'm not going to try to save scum the uh, thing. Hopefully there's enough here that I can get them all, the traits. And I'm not in a hurry to get any because I can't place them yet anyway. Till I get whatever it takes to be able to make those. Oh, there's another chest over here. Let's grab this. Yeah, so no matter what, Sir Garwin, I'm making progress. Because it's all progress. Alright, we've got a bunch of new stuff. Let's see if anything's any better. We've got new faceware. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, 43. So, no. Those are similar. <laughs> It's a little darker. Okay. Um, and then we got a new cloak. Which is not better. And a new outfit. Oh, three. Not better, not better. Better. So, we don't have Imperio. So we might as well learn that. Uh, but that looks terrible. So we're going to have to put it back something cool what was one we we're doing we we're wearing that one that one just looks so slick indeed skyrim syndrome do everything but the main story yeah and you know the more we do other things before the main story the um just the higher level will be and the easier the main story will be so there's nothing wrong with that what was the talent i have so, yeah, I got one talent point. We can have Wigan Weld heal better. Oh, I was going to do the, the dash. Let's do that. And now instead of just rolling, I have a little teleport. She's going to be maybe a little chaotic in combat just because it's going to increase like the effects and the sound. It's going to make that boom every time. So it might be kind of annoying for you guys, but it's a good effect. I can't take it back now. Oh, if I, it's only if I hold it, too. I can just do the regular dodge. Okay. Sweet. Yeah. I mean, I could just roam the whole open world before we do anything else. Oh, but I was going to go at least grab some of these. So let's go grab those, and then we'll go back to uh, Madame Kagawa. It seems loud. Yeah. We could um, maybe turn sound effects down a little bit. Let's see. Settings. Boop. Let's 
turn sound effects down a bit. See if that helps. It's a little better. I don't want to turn them down too low, though, because I want to be able to hear things. Like, uh... Dings and stuff. Oh, that's just the lock. There's a beast lair. Can't wait till I can collect beasts. Hippogriffs, even. Yeah, so the flu flame here. I wonder, is this going to be a bad guy area? What right, are you up to now? That. We get some hork lump. We have a Merlin thing, which we might as well do. Revelio. He must be associated with the Merlin thing. Oh, there's a chest. No, I can't do that. Oh, I can go from there. Cool. It's not better, though. Can you tame? Not yet. Not yet. But it's coming. These are important for our magical healing. And those allow us to build, conjure things in our room. Revelia. Is this the, uh... I wonder if that's the passage to the other side. It's definitely something, isn't it? So I heard there's a mine passage to be able to get over here. You can't fly over this. Just gotta try everything. There's probably some puzzle for it. Okay. Yeah, it's gotta be some other way. Let's do this. This gives us more inventory. Oh, here's a do, surprise. If we do enough of them. Yeah, this is where Greater Revelio would be useful. Alright, what do we do with you? Do we float you? Say. We flip you? No, you roll. Where would we roll you to? Definitely don't want to make you go all the way down the hill. Revelia. You're back in lurk, Sir Garwin? Okay. Have a good lurk, man. Thanks for stopping in once again. I've just seen that one thing for the Merlin trial. There's another one of those things to stand on. There's some goodies over here somewhere. Rebellia.
Can I pull you to me? Can. Is that a bug that it turns to Wind Guardian Levioso even if I haven't cast it? Uh, some monies? Unidentified face item. Let's just go stand on this for a second. We'll go back for the Merlin thing. Hey! <laughs> Landing platforms! Oh, I got a challenge completion for that. That door looks main storyish, or main storyish. Maybe. Oh, there's another Merlin thing. Revelio. Right next to the other one. I know what that means, Merlin trial. Oh, I'm afraid to start another one. <laughs> we haven't finished the other. All right, let's got to finish one before we do the next. Uh, but let's grab this stuff. It's right here. Slow down. So what, we have the one ball. Seems to be a track going downhill this way. What would happen if it rolled all the way down here? This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Oh, maybe that's what's meant to happen. Okay. Oops. Got it. All right, come with me. No, you're too heavy for that. Wingardium Leviosa. No. We were able to float Leviosa. it, weren't we? Oh, come on. I swear to God, we floated it before. Maybe we push it from this side. There we go. Can you work for coin in the town? Uh, there are some side missions that the vendors give you. But they're kind of far and few between. Can it go all the way in? Not quite. Boop. It's so tricky after all, Merlin. All right. Sweet. Yeah, I wasn't going to bother with these until I realized that they're where you get your inventory from. And there's something here. Ooh. All right, let's look at our challenges real quick. Uh, challenges are you. So we got this new one, 20 Dark Wizards. We get the Protectors Ensemble. And then what else? We've got a uh, new one in Exploration. Pop balloons. <laughs> oh, we get a broom appearance reward. What? All right. We need more balloons and we'll get a lickety swift broom. That's an appearance. Quidditch captain's uniform. That was for the landing platforms. 
And then the Merlin trials, we need to do three more before we get more inventory. Okay. What's in here? This looks intriguing. Mm hmm. Pavilio. Accept all. Oh, there's an accept all button. It's more fun to get in one at a time, though. Neapolitan striped scarf. That's exactly what it would be in a crypt like this. The voice acting is really good. Yeah, I've liked it a lot. The only voice I don't like is actually the male character's voice, which is why I played the female. He sounds a little too much like Harry Potter. He's got that puberty voice. Revelia. What's that? Oh, more of the lace wing. I'm gonna have so much of this. One of the easiest ones to see. All right, let's go get that other Merlin trial that we saw. I guess we can just pop balloons when we see them. If we need them for a quest, hopefully they'll reappear, right? Let's pop these. <laughs> go get that Merlin quest. Need two more balloons. Where was that Merlin thing? It was over here. I like that every Merlin thing is different, even if they're all silly. Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. Something happened over there. This looks like just like a cast fire one. Incendio. So there's that one. Revelio. Yeah, maybe I do need the better Revelio range. I saw it. Not lit anymore? Is that the deal? Incendio. Confringo. There's got to be one more in range. Up oh, over there. I see. Okay. That one pops up. Confringo. That count? Is there more than that? I guess there's a timing thing happening here. Just gotta be super quick. Confringo. 
There we go. Just had to be fast enough. Hey, Nicola. He was 15, though. <laughs> yeah, but, you know. Thank you, Nicola. Have you been playing it at all? I have definitely been enjoying it. All right. There's no end of stuff, it seems, we can do here. Um, but we can get these lit before we go. Just so we can come back more easily if we want to. Play one hour, but love watching me play it better. <laughs> I got to enjoy playing it yourself too, right? Okay, that's the invisible wall. We might not be able to get to that. I don't think we can. It, when we were on the ground, it wanted us to go some... It gives us a path this way. Oh, hi. Get some of you. And the hork lump juice is always useful. What's this? Another thingy. My goodness. Loot, loot, loot. Oh, there's the thing. For it. Got to get all the loots. And then we let it on fire. Confringo. Incendio. Or not. Might be a little picky. Wingardium Leviosa. That's the right one. Yeah, they got the same symbols. Oh, but you know what? These look more frosty. Maybe they are frosty. Yes. Yes. Stay on your toes. Can't expect the same thing every time. Ooh, what do we got here? All kinds of stuff. Hmm. That looks like something to break, maybe. Yep. Oh, it's skeletal. So what do we do here? There's a chest in there. These are connected. Uh, can we... Pull that? Or... Maybe we pull all this stuff? Wingardium Leviosa. And it goes on there. No. <laughs> Let's try it again with the real Wind Guardian. Oh, does it form something? No. 
Oh, it forms a staircase. I'll trip out. Okay. That I was not expecting. And of course, in this ancient crypt, there's a school cloak. <laughs> of course. It's everybody in the ancient past was a Hogwarts student. Alright, but we were trying to follow this path to see if we can get up to that other um, flu flame. This set me out in the open world, and oh my god, what happens? What happens? There's a beast lair over here of some kind. Kind of beasts. Neasles. Hello, Neasles. Ah, oh, there's a troll. He's gonna so kick my butt. Light and you'll be swift. <laughs> but who wants to be swift? <laughs> Let me <also>. <laughs> 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 Ouch. Get out of the way, Needles. It's a little difficult dealing with both of these guys. Oh man, see? The same? Got you. Throw their thing back at him. Oh, meant to be Levioso. No. Gotta grab his thing. Get quicker. Man, wrong button. I'm pressing Z. I am. Maybe I just need to tap it. There we go. Just holding it, not tapping it. Didn't get it, but I have some magic. Boom. All right. Defeat trolls. Get a boogie. Luckily, he stayed, got stuck over here. All right. That went better than my other troll battle. Different symbol? Try to do the combat requirements? What do you mean? There's more bad guys over here. Pavelio. Oh, hi. Oh, there's another guy over there, too. Crap. Oh, come on. Let me roll. Oh, I forgot about these. That's handy. Oh, except when it doesn't work. No 
ungefähr. Get him out the way. Happened to troll. Wrong button. Collect my leash juice. <laughs> Can't always seem to grab it. There we go. Alright. That was work. But it's all good. He does look stunned. Dueling feats on screen. Really? <laughs> it's hard for me to see all that stuff when I'm in the heat of it. Now what? I did all that work to get in here. I might as well keep going. Alright, there's some bad guys there in the chest. Where are you? That's those guys. Right, let's go handle them. Stupid to come here. That was meant hey. for me. Kill spells glance off of me. Where are you? Here you go. Oh, he's up there. Come on down. He's gone. Maybe not. Been going to her body. There we go. Oh, I'm out of health. All right, let's not die. Oh yeah, I've got cabbages. I keep forgetting about my cabbages. What did I get myself into here? There's somebody there. Hello? Oh, yeah, 
cabbages are OP. Not quiet enough. Vicious plants. <laughs> that was unimpressive. Are you quite mm. finished? No, oh, that's embarrassing, isn't it? Oh, he shot me. Is that the best you can do? Sweet. My gear slots are full. Crap. <laughs> I hate that. All right, what have we got? Uh, that's not as good. That's not as good. What's worth the least? I hate having to destroy stuff. We don't know. That one's just worth 60. All right, let's, let's destroy these 60s. She does look good, doesn't she? I think she, uh, yeah, I, I'm liking this outfit a lot. It's so stylish. See, that's why we're going to finish those Merlin trials. But it's kind of, it discourages you from spending too much time out and about because, uh, Revelio. Otherwise, you get full. We can always come back here. This does feel kind of main story-ish. Well, that one's better than what we're wearing. That was a robe. Okay. Uh, but we'll have to make it look better. Which we were doing this one. We got new face wear. It's a little above my level. Revelio. It's definitely giving me combat practice. His automatic digging. I was just trying to get the uh, flu flame over here. Oh, so this is the uh, for a trait. All right, let's see what we get. Unforgivable one. Revelio. Getting all kinds of moonstone. It's gonna help with conjuring stuff in our room. Revelio. Got you, moonstone. We're getting all kinds of hork lump too, which we cannot grow. All right, this is where. Can't go under there. The flu flame is. At least we'll get that. I wonder if this is the mine passage to the other side. I bet it is. Oi, pass that fire whiskey over here. <gasps> One less human to worry about. <laughs> Too slow. Oh, you sneaky. I can do that too. Oh, this shouldn't take long. Those are fake, huh? 
It looks like Moonstone. There you are. That Defendo is pretty good. They want you. Can't have you. Okay, never mind. Well, we gotta at least get that flu flames. Trying to get the Z. There it is. Too late for you to learn the error of your ways. Hey, I got a level. Which means I'll have another talent. Revelio. We're almost at this foo 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 flame. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Accio. Deposo. How nice to see you, my young friend. Yeah. Where are we now? Um, we're there. So, I guess we might as well see if we can work our way through here, since we're here. Let's see if we can get directions to the next one, maybe. That's the way to go. And it wants us to go back that way. Well, what's in here? Just treasure, maybe? Another school outfit? Revelio. Yeah, it's a loot room. Cool. Gear slots are full. Ah. Well, we can actually come back here now, so we might as well go sell, huh? Um, what's the worst thing we're wearing that we could get rid of? That's one. These are all worth too much. Uh, the eyewear seems to be worth the least. Uh, so we can uh, equip this. Destroy this. Grab this. Identify head item. And we'll be back. We'll be back. So we made some progress. Let's go... Do, 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 Hogwarts... Let's go identify our items. All right, Father Jimbo. Thanks for hanging out, man. I'm glad you're enjoying the game as well. The potions you've brewed. Thanks for joining me on my adventures for a little while. Fairy green sorcerer hat, Quidditch goggles. So neither one were better. Let's go grab more of my OP cabbages. And all my things, really. I love that there's butterflies in my room. Yeah, good night, Jimbo. Alright. We're full up on cabbages again. And I think that, uh... We don't have anything better. Oh, we do. 
Oh, right. These were slightly better, but this gives me more Fringo damage. This is where it gets difficult. So I'm going to hold on to Confringo since this is only two higher. And we're going to go sell, which is why I'm checking everything. Decreased damage taken from Doug Box. Interesting. I'm wearing that one. All right. This one has Fringo damage as well. That's Crucio, which we don't have. That's good. It's not as good. We're wearing that. Okay. Now we can sell stuff. And we gotta get our spell. So let's sell stuff first. So we gotta go to Hogsmeade. Do you have to put gear on to unlock his transmog? No. All you gotta do is is have touched it. And then you're good. Um we might as well get some more potions maybe if we can. Not that I would ever think to use them, but I barely remember to throw out my cabbages. Hogsmeade, here I come. But uh, we might as well. Unless we want more conjuration stuff. Save me a lot of time and trouble. So we're gonna sell everything. Boop. Boop. Making big money. Big, big money. Sort of. This is better than destroying them. I mean, we definitely gotta keep doing those Merlin trials. Alright. So we could... Buy stuff from him. Maxima really is the only one I want. It's only 500. But before we spend that, I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Oh, let's go check out tomes and scrolls. Unless we want to get more seeds. <laughs> uh, the tomes and scrolls. Down there. I'm probably most interested in outfitting my room of requirement, but, um,. Never Big part of that is also just making the potions and stuff. Just let me know if there's something in particular you're looking for. So beast stuff. So this one periodically gives us a free plant thing. This one will periodically give us a free potion. And this one will periodically give us free moonstone. I don't know if any of those are that great. Uh, we could get a better potion thing. Which we don't really need. We can get the tables with the two large pots. Should give us more venomous tentacula, more fluxweed. We're doing okay on those right now. All right, I think. Let me know if there's anything else. We'll I can get do. those things later. Let's just get the rest of the seeds, maybe, and the another potion. Hi, kitty. So many kitties. Where I lost my bearings here. The potions are there. 
And Neeps is there. We were almost there. So let's buy that one cheapest potion. Thank you again for delivering those potions to Madame Lawing. Save me a lot of time and trouble. Uh, the Maxima. A wise decision. Thank you. And the Thunder Brew and the Invisibility we could get now, but we'll come back for... I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Let's go get the rest of the seeds, because we know we'll need those at some point. Start making money items. Can you make stuff to sell? Hello, be with you in a bit. So we can get the shrivel fig. Now you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. Whatever they're good for. No one can say I don't keep it. And that leaves me with. 1840. What are money items that they can make? I don't think he'll let me sell any potions. Does he? What can I do for you today? Money making items. Yeah, see, I can't sell anything that on me at the moment. Um, we can get one of these. I don't know that I care about either one of those. So we can already do the spell for that. This wasn't that great. I guess it was okay. Yeah. I'll hold off. I'll hold off. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. But we can start stockpiling the plants and growing them. Um, let's go finish that uh, the quest for Madam Kagawa. We're going to get Arresto Momentum. Alright, we have more talents. We have one. I'll go ahead and do the increased range of Revelio. Sure. If nothing else will be helpful for the Merlin spells. All right, and let's just, we'll fast travel back to her. She's over here. Which one is she in? Is she the library annex? Bell Tower Wing. You can go to the courtyard or the flying glass lawn. I think she's closer to here. Because she teaches flying class. Yep. Okay, no spell. Welcome back. Have you finished reporting back, Professor? Assignment's all finished. Well done. Shows good discipline. Wisdom is a golden snitch, as they say. And you're proving a skilled seeker in that regard. Let us practice our resto Is that the picture of her when she was a younger? A charm, incidentally, okay. created to stop Quaffles from plummeting straight to the ground during a Quidditch match. Precise, deliberate movements. Okay. Those glasses I'm wearing gotta go. Though, that's important, right? <laughs> uh, boop. There we go. That's cuter. All right, we got a new spell. Rest momentum slows the motion of objects and enemies. The larger the target, the less effect the spell will have. All right, do we have a place to put it is the thing. Not really. <laughs> uh, but that's our new one. Stop. 
Is that better than Glacius? Although this increases damage. Hmm. We might need to start uh, just equipping the Conjuration stuff when we actually need it, right? <laughs> like, Because we can put that there. And, yeah, we can make an, another combat thing. Which, just do that. We'll have uh, three combat bars, and then when we need to conjure in the room, we'll just do that. Why not? Because we don't do that that often anyway. We can just replace utility spells. Uh, and I bet we're going to get more of these. Well, we are. That one, and that one, and that one. I recommend practicing your new spell as much as possible. Perhaps before you leave here. On what? On these, maybe. Arrest the woman. That didn't seem to work. That's it. There we Keep go. It up. Aha. Bad book. <laughs> can we do anything else with him? We can push him. Well done. Stop him. You are on your way to mastering Arresto Momentum. And we can set them on fire. <laughs> All right. We're a master. Okay. So, quests. Perhaps we should go do this, Percival Rackham's Trial. Advance on that. Maybe that will unlock. I mean, the main quests are the main things that unlock things, right? So maybe that will unlock the, uh, the lockpicking one. Who knows? We've got new stuff in our inventory. We've got a giant venomous tentacular leaf. Oh, we never went finished with that one, did we? Got two new letters, new things. Yeah, so the quests actually, we didn't turn this in to dude. So let's let's do that real quick. Might as well finish the quest we already did. Where is he gonna be? He's that way. Why does it want me to go that way? Oh, that's for the main quest. No. Uh, oh, because I got to go around. I see. Well, let's just fly into the courtyard then. He's over here somewhere. Can I uh, land on this? I forget. Some of these I can, some I can't. Oop. Yes, this one I can. Cool. Ooh, Duncan, I got something for you to falsely prove your valor with. Where are you at, brother? Down, 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 down. Have you there found you anything to uh, prove my bravery yet? Hello, I Duncan. I have the proof you wanted. That's one leaf. Must have been a giant venomous tentacular. It's even more than I expected. I knew you were the one to ask. I appreciate you getting it for me. Happy to help. Of course. I hope this helps you prove yourself. This is sure to put an end to Puff's in dunking for good when I show everyone in the common room tonight. This will show ever how ridiculous that nickname was. Thank you again. And Somehow I day. feel like it's going to backfire on him. I know I will. Thank you for all of your help. No more Puff's in dunking for me. No. Oh, we got a venomous tentacular road. Nice. And three more side quests and uh Revelia. 
we will complete another challenge. Oh, this really does light up a whole bunch of stuff. We do hope it's you. But I can't get in. This is the problem with it. <laughs> mm, that looks nasty. Uh, let's do this one. Why not? Lumos. So that's a centaur in a painting. Where do we think that might be? It is not on your nose. Oh, oh centaur. Yeah. Where might you be? Oh, this is that other secret room, isn't it? Yep. We have some of her gobstones, but not all. How about up here? Well, there's a centaur statue. Oh, here it is. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Right, where's the flutterby? Revelio. I'd wager the Hufflepuff common room is the coziest. Lumos. Area. Simply the fact that it's so close to the kitchens makes. Oh, there's multiple. Homely. Even if I knew how to get into the other common rooms, I wouldn't bother. There's a reason I was brought into my house. I like it in I here. Revelio. It's astonishing what one can learn when keeping one's mouth right, shut. Come back. Lumos. People feel at liberty to talk about anything. This looks like it would be toxic. Oh, watch the tile under your feet. You'll set off a something foul. Oh, please be careful. That's a gorgeous room. Fourteen of twenty-five. Do you mind where you're stepping? They'll only think it's me. If you put a foot wrong, it's just well. There's a rather foul odor. Oh dear. There's chests there below me. According to the map, anyway. What is... I guess I can't... Zoom in on... The stuff I see on the mini-map. Alright, anyway. Let's, uh... What were we doing? Oh, yeah, we were finishing that. Oh, there's... Those. Let's grab that. That's monies. Indeed. All right, now we'll go back to the other quest, I guess. Now that we turn that one in, there's so many more to pick up. We have to do that, we have to do that. Uh, but let's do this. Do I have challenges to turn in? I do. Defeat goblins. Well, we get goblin silver resistance one. Okay. All right, so we're gonna meet Fig at the tower. Is he off the map? He is. Where is he? He is way over here somewhere. And that's a whole new area. What do these little stacked squares mean? I wonder. Right, so we got to go over here. Uh, what's the quickest way there? Probably up here. What are you up to now? Yeah, there's a bunch of side quests here. Let's just That's pick them up and not right do them yet. Shane we'll come back for this later. Dark magic was the answer. Excuse me, did you say something about a bard of Beaumont? I did. I don't think we've met. I'm Dorothy Sprottle. Dorothy Sprottle. I was Sprottle. just worrying about Claire Beaumont's brother Bardolph. Only he's gone missing. 
Rumor is he was seen in the forest practicing dark magic. Oh, no. Saw him myself near some ruins with Rookwood's lot I did. I fear he got himself into trouble with the Ashwinders, especially if he made them a promise he couldn't keep. I'd help search for him myself, but no one will risk encountering Ranrock's loyalists. They seem to be everywhere. Perhaps I can keep an eye out. I can certainly look out for him. Any help would be appreciated. You might speak to Claire first. Perhaps she has some insights that I don't. I can tell you that Bardolf was last seen in the forest wearing a particular woolen jumper. One that Claire knitted herself. Claire okay. will be at her shop if you'd like to speak with her. So we got the quest, Brother's Keeper. And then it looks like there's a couple more over here. Revelia. What's this? Oh, we got a treasure map. Okay. Hmm, a map. I wonder where it leads. And then what's up, up with you? Being terrorized by Ran oh, this Royalist. is Claire. This is the it's same right. one. I couldn't help it over here. Did you mention Ranrock's loyalists? I did. <sighs> Never imagined they'd act this deadly. I'm Claire Beaumont, by the way. Nice to meet you. Ranrock and his followers have set up camp here. No regard for our beloved Hamlet or our livelihoods. Ruthless. My brother Bardolf dared to stand up to them and ended up in St. Mungo's. Well, we might have to go kill them. Simply at my wit's end. I could run them out. I'm unfortunately quite familiar with Ranrock's loyalists. Perhaps I can do something. <laughs> Much as I would love to be rid of them, I wouldn't want you to risk injury or worse. Please be cautious. Okay. We should not have to live in fear. This is our home. And then let's, Madam while we're Lund, talking to her, might I speak with you? Let's fulfill yes. that part of the other what quest. What about Mrs. Sprottle told me a little that about your brother's disappearance. Oh. Dear Dorothy, she'd go looking for Bardolf herself if she could. She mentioned dark magic and even the Ashwinders. Despite my repeated warnings, Bardolf's been experimenting with dark magic near the edge of the forest. I thought perhaps he'd get it out of his system and it would gradually stop. But then one day, he didn't come home. I'll keep an eye out for him. I'll let you know if I see or hear anything about him. Thank you. How kind. I'd be so grateful to learn where he is. I know in my heart he's out there. Do be careful. So we got two things to do for her. Oh, and her, she's what got wares. What does she have for Bottle. sale? Where are you? Ingredients. I'll not give up hope. Stench of the dead. All right, we're not going to buy any ingredients from her right now. And I don't think we have anything to sell. Thank you for passing through. Oh, no. Don't be stingy. All right. Well, why don't we clear goblin encampments? I know this is off our main track, but, um, you know, a little more combat. Uh, no, I'm going to be cheap. Things are getting worse. Let's be on my guard. Wouldn't mind clearing some goblin encampments. Let's, um... Oh, crap. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Whoopsie. I'm used to tabs sometimes being an inventory, which is kind of, yeah, a pitfall here. Um... I am spec for Confringo, so I want to put that there, maybe. And then we'll maybe put that there. I'm most used to using this bar. Honestly. Uh, maybe we'll do this. I can do a resto memento and then a slash. I don't know why I'd ever push them away is the thing. It's more of just a utility spell. 
honestly. Maybe we'll try that. All right, let's see what happens. Well, they're coming with me. Quiet as a grapple, and you are. Who's that? Go get him, buddies. Oh, man. I refuse to be defeated. Such arrogance. One less human to worry about. I hate wasting my time with plants. You've one less follower, Ranrock. One count right. down, one more to go. That wasn't too bad. My cabbage is doing a lot of the work for me. Light their fire for them. Revelio. Anything else here? That's it. I guess they don't have a uh, a chest they're giving out for the traits. That's handy. There's some herbs down here. Revelio. Where are these guys? All right, where's the other camp? It is that way. Do a little recon. How nice of you to stop by. Do you like some cabbages? Hello? Pray to fight. How does it Oh, hi. Keep talking about my vegetables. Indeed. Rather unwise coming back this way. All right, we did it. Both Wasn't so bad. Madame Beaumont will be glad to hear that. I love how my cabbages just explode afterwards. We'll have to go check this place out too. A castle. Must have been quite stately in its time. Oh, what's this? That looks main story-ish. Wow. That didn't do anything. That was a whole thing in there. Well, 
I mean, we could go in here. Nope, that's the wrong button. We could wait and see if the story brings us back here. Can we go in there? No, it is available. I have to assume if this is main story, something that it will, uh, <clears throat> reset if it has to, huh? Hopefully I don't break anything. That wasn't so difficult. Oh, discover more ancient magic hotspots and complete their challenges to increase my ancient magic capacity or something like that. Okay, so that was fine to be here. Rebellion. That's fine. Sneaky cheeky chest there. Okay, so that helped us with ancient magic somehow. There's a guy selling stuff down here. What are you? My goodness, he's setting up shop. See if there's something you need. Oh, this is Leopold. We already know. We already know about him. Sky Scythe Broom. He wants to look impressive. Didn't I open up some broom stuff? I did, didn't I? Night Dancer Broom. Oh, this one's still cooler. It's on fire. You can upgrade your broom at Sprint, Sprint Witches. Is that opened up yet? We got some more face wear. Not as good or equal. And this one. This is slightly better for defense, but this has increased damage dealt to curse targets, and I am dealing curse. So I think we'll leave that for now. And uh, just sell to him. See if there's something you need. Yeah, it's fine. I shall hope to do business with you again. Okay, keeping that inventory empty. That's been a pleasure. All right, so we got to return to Claire. Get that one done. Actually, since we're doing this, I wonder if we can uh, knock out Brother's Keeper at the same time. Since both of them involve returning back there. Pop the balloon. Wonder who lives here. Ooh, there's some bad guys. Can't pass up a fight. <laughs> Must fight. Yeah. 
Handwork easy peasy. To your demise. Revelio. Wig and weld potion. Happy to have it. Okay. <laughs> I know when I said I was going to pick up these side missions, I wasn't going to do them. But then... Then we did them! So there. This looks intriguing. Oh, these are bad things. And furious. These are the ones that we gotta do uh, fire to. Can these hurt him? Challenge for Why these guys. Jumper? That must be Bardolf. Confringo. He's trying to pick up Z. Didn't work. Confringo. Levioso. Oh, this is corpse. Holy crap. He's a boss. Confringo. Bardock's pulling jumper. I'm not sure Madame Beaumont would want to know what really happened to him. That's Wow, so he turned into an inferior. Revelio. Well, that's not very good. Stench of the dead. I'm repulsed by what I have just witnessed. They have created an inferior, a corpse mutilated come to life. I tried to hide my horror at what I was seeing. Alas, I think they saw through me. I need to convince them I'm not a spy. I'm not here to undermine them. If I do not, I fear I could be next. Barred off. This mentions in theory, and something about it being Bardolf's turn next. Revelio. That was a shame. I got his jumper. I wonder... How good that is. But yeah, you gotta burn these guys before you can uh, hurt them. All right, so now we gotta report back to Claire. Rebellion. Uh, let's check out this jumper. It's an outfit. No, that's not it. Maybe it's just a collection thing. Prankster coat. Dragon hide. It's not that. It's none of those. None of these looks like a jumper. Hmm. 
Got some new conjurations, apparently. Just the one. Okay. Huh, I'm not sure about that jumper. Oh, it's here. Okay, old woolen jumper that's been torn to bits. All right. So we got two quests to turn in. We have a treasure map we picked up too, but. Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough little place. All right, so here's Claire. I hope my brother is all right. Uh, let's start with the bad news, and then we'll go to the good news. <laughs> Madam Beaumont, I do have some news of your brother. Oh, please tell me he's safe. Hmm. We're going to be truthful. I regret to say that Bardolf had been turned into an Inferius, and I had to kill him. What? But, but how could you possibly think that an Inferius was my brother Bardolf? That's absurd. He was wearing a woolen jumper, hand-knitted. <gasps> no. No. This can't be. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm truly sorry. I wish it had been better news. I wish you well, Madame Beaumont. <laughs> what more could I have done? Oh, Bardolf. Now she's over it. Bardolf. My dear, dear brother. What about the other quest? Oh, I do miss the bustle of business. Poor customers, afraid to venture out. Thank you for passing through. All right, that's complete. Hello, Madam Beaumont. Good news. I was able to clear out Ranrock's camps. You cleared them out? How? It was harrowing, and they dug in their heels, but I managed. Oh, I wish my brother could have done what you did. Perhaps he'd still be with me now. I'm especially grateful. You did for Bardolf what I could not. You saved our Hamlet, my young friend. This will not be forgotten. I fear for other Hamlets, truly. Ranrock and his lot are unlike any goblins I've ever seen. Okay, where's my cursor? There it is. I should be going now. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Sincerely. Oh, we got a uh, breaking camp, and we're one away from completing side quests. One more, and we get a challenge, which is unfortunate because that encourages me to do one more. <laughs> it's all good, though. It's all in the game, and this is definitely a game I want to. 100%. Not necessarily for, like, a cheat Steam achievements, but, uh... Doug Box sighting. Be careful. But just all the side quests and all the open-world content and stuff like that, I definitely want to do all that stuff. And get all the loot, of course. Oh, we got a new handle for our wand. Sweet. And we got some uh, 
Moonstone over here. Let's grab this real quick. We need all the Moonstone. Alright, I don't see any more quests in town. Oh, we got leech juice. Right out of a storybook. Maybe don't understand what these chess symbols mean. Oh, they I guess it means the chests are in there. Badoff. You wouldn't have left. Because I was gonna say there isn't one next to her. But man, once I get the unlocking spell. Revelia. We are gonna be so rich. Pumpkin Fizz, a fashionable carbonated drink with a pumpkin flavor. Has yet to become as popular as butter beer, but one never knows. Okay, let's go do that uh, next main story bit, and that's going to probably be it for the day, guys. But uh, let's grab this. Maybe we've got to grab it from here. Cool. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's the uh, map we picked up. Okay. All right, we're tracking it. Let's go. Hello, my broom. I'm looking forward to the hit having a hippogriff, but I. I don't know. I love the, uh, just the... I know you can pull the hippogriff out of your pocket too, but this is just makes more sense to be portable. Revelio. So we're going to meet him there. Let's just do a quick little flyby. Something there. Is that a Merlin thing? That's something. What is that? No. Maybe it's going to be part of this. Revelia. There's a bad guy down there. I guess we'll wait. We got this to claim here. How nice to see you, my young friend. San Bacard's Tower. Loyalists. Around a dozen, I can see, but could be more. Can't we operate past them into the tower? We could, but we've no idea what's in the tower. More importantly, however, I'd like to know why they're here. They've set up camp just ahead. I suggest we investigate a little before doing anything else. Let's go. All right. Well, I have two cabbages left. No, it isn't. This way. And... I'd suggest we use the disillusionment charm here. No sense in announcing our arrival. Uh, we'll Do we have to? Job at Gringotts. Suit me sitting around all day. Quickly now. Okay. Well, fine. I can always come back. Beat him up again. Stay hidden and cast Petrificus Totalus. Petrificus Totalus. That's handy. Well <laughs> I knew that's the thing you can do when you sneak. 
but it's just kind of OP. Uh, there must be something here. Ramrock said so. Well, we'll do it this way for now. Uh, there must be something here. Ramrock's. What was that? Feel as though I'm not Seems a... quiet. Too quiet, if you ask me. I guess we're trying to go to the tower. Yeah, you can make stealth even better be with talents. Oh, how long for but I don't know. To me, this would just take the fun out to do all the fighting this way. Should we finish those guys out? I'll come back for them. I think we're meant to go here, yeah? No, I guess we gotta finish out the goblins. Okay. I don't see the uh, mark, but I guess we're there. I could just blast them all out, but uh, we'll do it this way one time. It's just like instant death. Frameless. I thought it said flameless. <laughs> flameless spectacles. From Ranrock. Search the tower and surrounding area. Look for anything to do with the names. What names? And why here? What you find here could be the key to goblin kind finally taking its rightful place in the world. I guess that's the reason, but we don't know why. Oh hi. I will draw blood. Oh, this will be a laugh. <laughs> Who? I got my wrong bar up. I shall avenge your death. Arrest not a problem. Unless my inventory gets full. <laughs> Revelia. Can't imagine the goblins know about the trials. They know that something is significant about this place, though. Doesn't look like any more goodies there. There's some here. It's more than mere coincidence that we encountered Ranrock's loyalists here. Revelio. Okay. Looks like we found the entrance. It's locked. Did he do it or did I? An unlocking charm. Very handy. Oh, no time now, is this where I get that? Learn it soon enough, we can work on it back at the castle. Yes, yes, yes. We're gonna have to go straight for that. Okay, we're gonna get the unlocking charm. We needs that. Revelio. Big time. I wonder who this is. 
With robes like that, it could be anyone. Scandalf. Alright, let's head up. This is a lucrative mission. Our inventory... Where do we see gear? 11 out of 24. I guess we have to go in there to see that. Yeah, we got a new handle. Oh, we got a couple new handles. I like that one. And, oh my gosh. Okay, that one's locked. That one's better. Oh, but we'll have to fix that. <laughs> Give me my cape back. Justin Han again. Now your buddy just dropped me another super chat. Justin. Thank you, Justin. I appreciate that, man. It's good looking out. I hope you're enjoying the stream. And not just hooking me up. Thank you for your support. Okay, going on up. I imagine these brooms have been enchanted for centuries. Never seen an enchantment last this long. Well, they're not doing a very good job cleaning up. Oh, yeah, there they go. The Beyonce gorillas. <laughs> You've activated them. Let's collect all the monies. Welcome to San Bacar's Tower. Oh. Oh, Percival. What's up? What's up, bro? Hello, Professor. Did you say San Bacar's tower? I did. Professor Bacar is a keeper you have yet to encounter. I'm glad to see that I was correct in presuming that we would meet again soon after our last encounter. Though I surmise, based on the commotion I heard, that you did not have an easy time getting to me. We did not, Professor. Oh, it was fun. We encountered goblins outside the tower. That goblins were aware of my vault is disquieting enough. But if they have also made a connection to this tower, then the threat may be greater than I thought. All the more reason for us to move forward. Downstairs, near the entry, a reservoir of ancient magic, like those you've seen before, has been unlocked. Commanded to access a doorway. I'm afraid I cannot say more. As Professor Fig cannot join you, he and I will, in time, see you back at the map chamber. Remember what you see. Why can't he join me? We're going to need to understand how Ranrock's loyalists knew about a tower that once belonged to a keeper. For the moment, however, you've more important things to set your mind to. A reservoir of ancient magic, I believe? Yes, sir. Then I shall leave matters in your increasingly capable hands. That said, be careful. I will, sir. I'll see you back in the map chamber. He's so complimentary. All right, I guess we're going through... The Reservoir of Ancient Magic. Downstairs, near the entry. See you, Percival. He's not paying me the time of day at this point. All right, let's go. Revelio. I want that charm. Right, we're gonna have to go long enough to get that charm hopefully this part doesn't take too long but I have a feeling since this is a trial that there's gonna be some combat involved at this point oh. ever looking Xantana indeed Ooh, 
It looks very good. Revelio. All right, I should keep a combat one up. The first trial. I've seen this before, in Gringotts and the Restricted Section. Let's see... I'm gonna put uh, this here. And I'll put this here. Zantana from DC Comics. I thought that was some play on um, Santana. Revelio. All right. Well, definitely something's going to be up here. You know what? I'm going to grab me. It's probably going to do it automatically, but let's grab us a little Savio. In case we have to do a little save scummyo. Rebellion. All right. Um, I guess we're going down here. <laughs> Impressive. That must have done something. Best have a look around. 62 gold is 62 gold. Get some Wigan Weld. It's giving me health potions. You know what that means. Oh, God. Yeah. Means we're gonna have a fight. Revelio. Let's get the loot first. That's what I believe in. Loot first. More traces of ancient magic. Something must be different. Revelio. Okay. Let's take the strange portal. That's looking bossy. Indeed. Hi, right, buddy. Revelio. You gonna wake up and fight? I know you are. These are never a welcome sight. At least I know what to expect this time. Indeed. Confringo. Potato. Superfly. Yeah. Confringo. Oh, gosh. Flipendo. 
Bring that one down. Drop anything for me. Alright, that wasn't so bad. Revelio. I probably shouldn't say that. Something that way. These look familiar. Is this a loot room or is this my progression? Let's see what's in here. What have the keepers planned for me? This looks like a loot room. That is nerve wracking. A Neapolitan striped We're scarf. Better. Don't go away. Huh. That is really nervous making. All right, so this is the progression. Towards. Okay, that works. Ooh. Wait, I didn't get all the loot yet. goodness okay we'll go that way in a second we gotta get the loot must have loot okay that was just a wig and wheel oh there's some there too from both sides of the archway. All right. Did I get all the goodies? I think I did. Okay. going was that it can't just be a the loot room, room changes when I move in and out of the archway okay Pedestal here. Revelio. Confringo. Hmm. Room changes when I go through there. But how do I get that change to stick? And I'm supposed to investigate from both sides of the archway. So there's a whole thing in there. Oh, I get it. I get it. I'm supposed to go over here. 
Come in from there. Or... Yeah, I don't think we have to go back through there. I think we just have to keep going forward. <sighs> More statues. Hello, buddies. Arrest the women. Come on. Find the spell, guys. There he is. Okay. Hey, no fair. Trying to, trying to find that. Don't you dare kill me. Combo times six. Revelio. No goodies here. I've been robbed. Oh, there's a guy there. We gotta fight you? No. The chest is not available. There's an investigation, but it's out there, so we have to get this to us. Investigate. What has that done? Go through here. So I'm pretty sure we meant to go over there, but I'm just seeing if this does anything. It doesn't. Oh wait, it does. Oh crap, now we're in here. Okay. Can we climb on this thing? We can. Is there anything to pull it to? Revelio. What did that burst of magic change on both sides of the archway? Something must be different. <gasps> There's one there. Oh, okay, we're supposed to get on this up there. Right. I need to see how the room changes when I move in and out of the archway. We did that.
where I gotta get all my school clothing. Alright, but yeah, this is the tricky bit. How do we get up to there? Um, I guess we gotta go through the archway again. Because there's nothing to pull this to. So that's it. I need to use both sides of the archway to get the platform to the oh, other side of the bridge. Oh, please. Stop spoiling it. Seems I ought to explore this archway from both sides. I think it's silly how she has to give you hints. Um... Maybe I gotta go through it the other direction. Yeah, get it back to this. Okay, now there's a thing to pull to. So that's it. I need to use both sides of the archway to get the platform to the other side of the bridge. Silly. Hush. Yeah. Just make sure I'm not missing any goodies. Oh crap. I didn't turn Accio off. It's so fine. that's it. I need to use both sides of the archway to get the platform to the other side of the bridge. I wonder if there's a way to turn those off. Yeah, so you gotta turn the spell off. Is all. I'll never get used to these floors. No. They're quite disconcerting. Alright, looks like more combat. Um, let's try this. Alright, who's first? One at a time. Magic. You guys need to leave me alone. Fringo. 
get it? I think we got it. I'm supposed to fix this? <laughs> I doubt that's important. Oh, wrong thing. Oh, I had cabbages and I just threw them out. Boo. Uh, Reparo. Reparo. No. Guess we can't fix them. Forgot about my cabbages. Revelio. All right, well, we got these guys anyway. Let's see. Let's instead of uh, let's put this one here. Just do more damage that way. I presume I'm looking for traces of ancient magic, but where? Supposed to get up there. Revelio. We can go around, but then we can't get there. Accio. We can't quite pull that through. Now to see what's changed on each side of this archway. And that chest exists on that side. Still don't have a way to get over there. We can do this. Well, that doesn't Things work. Things are definitely different on either side of the archway. Although we can go over there now. But I want that chest. <laughs> I'm greedy. Uh, we have to approach this from the other side to get to it. Let's see. Let's try going back here. How do we get over there? There's this one. What if I stood on one platform and used Akio on the other? We'll be quiet. That ought to work. Um, settings. Which one's accessibility? Where's turn off hints? I don't think there is. <laughs> Display. Uh, gameplay. Yeah. I guess we can't turn those off. I sure wish I could. I feel like she should give me as much time as I need. Oh, here we go. That's what we're after. Yeah. 
now we can grab this. I've got some gloves that are better than what I'm wearing. Maybe. Still don't have the uh, increased damage with Confringo, though. So I'm still going to hold on to the ones I'm wearing. We hit some new things here, too. Not as good, not as good. Not as good, not as good. Okay. All right, now I got to get back out of here. Can I go through here? I can't. All right. You come back. What if I stood on one platform and used Akio on the other? That ought to work. I'll be quiet. Um, I guess we just did that last time, didn't we? Just came through here. Now we can pull over to there. Now that we got the loots. Don't need your stinking hints. What if I stood on one platform and used Akio on the other? That ought to work. Oh. Right, this is not where we wanted to go. This looks like how we came in. The symbol was here before, though. Revelia. Okay, this is new. We haven't been here. It's giving me more Wigan Weld. Which is worrisome. Don't Cabbages! This. Didn't want to do you. Too many guys. Do the block so I can get to stupefy. There we go. good yeah no I need to block more oh god now we got a boss oh crap Goodness. Where's my cabbages?
how am I supposed to dodge that? Still hits me. Goodness, can I block those? I don't see an indicator that I can. That is really tough. Okay, I got an X. block there. Crap. Oh, I did a stupendo somehow. There we go. Gosh. There was a block there. Oh, out. I was a little crazy. What a relief. Just a little crazy. Yeah, it's using the glacius a lot. It slows him down, but also it just increases damage dealt. Oh wow, look at this. That's cool. Tear. The ancient magic. Watch your face. So he's teaching that student we saw before. Your ability to transfigure the world around you is remarkable.
What is it? My father isn't getting better. I don't think he'll ever recover from the death of my brother. It is agonizing to see those we love suffer. The drought was years ago, but the pain of losing him is as deep for him now as if it had happened only yesterday. He doesn't need pretty pillars, he needs peace. What if I could help him, Professor? You do so much for your father already. It's not enough. I want to take away his pain. It is tempting, I know, to use this magic that you're mastering to transfigure more than the physical world. But human emotion is a potent force unto itself. What does that mean? Even the most well-meaning and competent witch cannot possibly know the consequences of irrevocably manipulating it. So I'm to watch as my father's pain destroys him. It is not your pain to take. I don't buy that either. Neither does she. <laughs> Every year, a student sees something sillier than I could ever imagine in their tea leaves. Oh, Miss Morgana, welcome back to Hogwarts, Professor. That's going to take some getting used to. Oh, she's Professor grown now. Rickwood? I was so pleased to hear that you'd accepted the position of Defense Against the Dark Arts, Professor. Sit, sit, Isadora. Tell us about your travels. I was actually hoping that you and the others might join me at my home this evening. There's much I'd like to share with you. That would be delightful. We shall let the others know. Very well. I shall see you then. I'm talking. Hmm. Another memory. Now to find a way out of here. Pensive artifact. Okay. Revelio. All right, doesn't seem to be any more goodies in here. This thing is very cool. More crystallized stone. That must be the way back to the map chamber. Yeah, if you guys know how to turn the hints off, let me know. Because she doesn't give you any time to figure it out. Okay. This reminds me a lot of Conan in the map room and the archives. What have we here? I'm a student at Hogwarts, sir. And this is Professor Fig. Professor Charles Rookwood at your service. Has someone completed the first trial? I have, Professor Rookwood. We saw you in the pensive in Gringos with Professor Rackham. Indeed. So you found the port key to access Professor Rackham's vault, and you deciphered the map within the locket you found floating above that pensive. I did. I found something that I can't identify floating above the last pensive. Ah, yes. You will find a similar artifact in each trial. You must take care to keep them safe. You will need them to complete the journey we have set forth for you. Once you have them all, we will tell you what to do with them. Very well. Are you able to tell me anything about the next trial? Before you proceed, I would like to speak with Charles regarding the urgent situation involving the goblins. Goblins? The student has seen traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. They and their mentor, Professor Fig, not only encountered goblins lurking outside of San Bacar's tower, they also encountered a powerful goblin in my vault at Gringotts. Hmm. I'm afraid it would be wise to halt the trials until we know more. Oh, no. We shall defer to you in this matter. Of course. Now then... Wait, Professor. 
The name Rookwood. Do you think... That there's a connection to Victor? Perhaps. But we can't be sure of its significance, if any. For now, tell me what you saw in the pensive. Before the witch from the last pensive, Isadora became a Hogwarts professor. She argued with Professor Rackham about using magic to remove pain. Hmm. Hopefully the next pensive provides more context. For now, we should learn what Ramrock knows. I will be honest, I've no idea where to start. Actually, I might know of someone. I saw Serona at the Three Broomsticks speaking to a goblin once. They seemed friendly. Well, it's worth a try. See what you can find out. Of course, don't forget... My studies, yes, sir. Uh, before you go... His name is Rookwood, isn't it? Professor? Have you encountered swirling traces of magic in the world? Uh, aside from those along our path? Not that I recall. What are they? Evidence of the Keeper's efforts to manipulate the power of ancient magic during our time. If I am correct, and I usually am, oh, you should be able to use them to inform and enhance your own magic. Thank you, sir. I we did find them. that one spot. All right, we got another cutscene or something. That's pretty. Oh, we're in fall now. Oh, so that quest changed the season. Advanced time. Okay. Quest complete. Percival Rackham's trial. I got a talent point. And a level. Um, I wonder... If I should ask Serona at the three brooms, I've got spectacular news. The broom upgrade's ready. Broom <laughs> upgrade. The shop when you can. Sweet. I hope you will come and see me about a pressing and highly confidential matter at your earliest convenience. I believe that we may be able to help each other. Okay. Um, what I wanted to see is if I can uh, learn the unlocking charm. So we got prepare yourself for the final keeper. Oh, find Lodgok the goblin, attend beast class. We have beast class. Ooh. Find out what Gladwin Moon wants. Question mark, question mark, question mark. That's the broom upgrade. We probably want that before anything. Uh, we can learn Depulso. No, we have Depulso already, don't we? Ah, this is what we want. Alahomara. Let's get that first. And then uh, that might be it for the day. But, yeah, we want to get that. That is the unlocking charm. And it's one of the things we have to do anyway is talk to Gladwin Moon. And then next, next stream, we'll go straight to Beast Class. And we'll um, go get our upgrade for our broom but first please see me after class once you have completed the tasks i've set for oh there's another one i would like to teach you descendo useful for descendo to the ground oh my gosh it's going so fast now all right let's talk to gladwin and get unlocky which is uh alohomara yeah, this is why I chose Hufflepuff. Because it's just a big hobbit hole. Revelia. I wonder if there's any side quests from people. Oh, there's a chest. Oh, 
Don't tell me. That's muggle fashion, isn't it? I can always tell. So very drab. Oh my gosh. It's an insulting mirror. I have family in Ingo. Just want to see what this was down here. There's a chest there. Don't know how to get to it. I thought uh, there was a chair that went blue. Maybe not. Oh, we can get to it here. House chest. Place. Uh, so we put a chest there? Or we gotta place something? I don't know what it is. Have some cakes. Rebellion. Hmm. Alright, apparently we don't know what to put there. Unless it's anything. Wingardium Leviosa. No. I'd like to do some window shopping. It's gonna give it some cakes. <laughs> I don't see any objects that we can grab, per se. The place on it. Yeah, it's got this big round receptacle on top. I'm not sure. What that is. I guess we'll figure that out later. Excuse me. Oh, Peeves, leave her alone. I need to learn Peeves go away, yo. You think there's a quest tied to it? Quite possible. Off on another adventure, are we? Oh yes, always. Be careful. <laughs> oh, be careful. Hey, it's me, Gareth. Do you have a moment? Yeah, let's just pick this up. Me, Gareth? I was. After you helped me with that fupa feather and potions, I reckoned you might be just the person I need. You see. I have an idea for a fizzing, wisby inspired beverage, but I'm missing a key ingredient. No, oh, a fetch quest. You and your concoctions. I don't know how you come up with these things. It's a gift, truly. So, I suspect <laughs> the <laughs> key ingredient in fizzing wisbies is dried billywig stings. I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on potions class for a while, not for my own bruise. I was hoping you could follow a secret passage to Honeyduke Cellar and grab a few dried billywig stings for me. Of course. Secret passage right up my street. Yeah, I like of that one. Of course. You never know when you might need a quick means of escape from the castle. Brilliant. Thank you. But you should know that it's not exactly quick. It's the secret bit that's helpful. The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor corridor. Just tap it with your wand and say... Descendium. I'll see what I can do, Gareth. Fair enough. You shall be the first one to taste my newest brew if you can be of help. Perhaps I can convince you. I'm not you sure to that's a good offer. Homework. Get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. Okay, so we picked that up, but we're not going to do it I'll right need now. I to get those dried billywig stings for Gareth if he's to finish I was his coming concoction. for this thing. A uh, one-eyed witch statue shouldn't be too hard to find. Just to grab that. And then let's go back to Gladwin's. He was... That one. This is actually a main quest, too. Uh, let's pick a talent. Let's 
Stupefy works longer. Blocking a spell will send two projectiles back. These are all good. I am going to make Wigan Weld work better, I think. That's got to be worthwhile. I got gear. All right, we got to get that identified. Oh, between streams, I'll empty my inventory in here, but let's just get this done. Rebellion. If I can stop pressing R. Alright, this is a thing we can do, but we'll do that later. Get away from peeves. Oh, we got this. Hogwarts Architect Guide Pages. Nice. Oh, yeah. Look at you. All right, let's start this one. What's up, Main? Hello again, Mr. Moon. It's the guy we oh, saw blasted again, drunk I'm on our way to uh, Hogsmeade. A Hogwarts caretaker at your service. Caretaker. First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. I suppose you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course not. Uh, of course not. <laughs> the village was lucky you were there. In fact, you were my there. visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. I've seen a lot of those. Now, if you wouldn't mind humoring me for a moment, see if you can remove the moon from the statue. Go on, take the moon. Oh, these are the first symbol in those door puzzles. Oh. Odd little contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed. Which, incidentally, can only be done at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now, and I'll explain more as we walk. Uh, ever okay. since that fateful day in the village, those curious Am I going to have to find a certain number of those? A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. You see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart, or, or shapeshifter, if you will, uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. And this one took the form of a demiguise. A demiguise? <gasps> yes! Terrible. Shall it can see the future? Holy unnerved. It's got a new I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Uh, flu flame. Uh, those statues are demigodes. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play on my name. Some jack and apes used a boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Why me? A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Oxmead has gained you a reputation I'm fearless. for fearlessness. Second, as macabre and hideous as a demiguise is, most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I, I simply can't bring myself to go near them. In fact, I know of two statues right here in the faculty tower. Perhaps you could start simply by removing them so uh, I can go about my evening duties. I'd be glad to help you, Mr. Moon. Oh, I knew I could count on you. 
first, <laughs> his you know, voice is so funny. Disillusionment charm, correct? Mm. You'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However, will you get in? Hmm. Alahamora. Yes. Give but it to me. What about curfew? Curfew? Oh, tosh. I sense you're a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, the school was my oyster. <laughs> and I took advantage of it. Oh, everyone loved me for it. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Uh, now, you'll find one statue in the prefect's bathroom and the other in the hospital wing. Good luck. Oh, and thank you. Where's all of Mara? Oh, here it is. Okay. We're going to have it. Yep. Got it. Nice. We've been needing that for hours, days. Okay. Level one unlocked. I'll get a little mini game. Q and E and A and D. To move the sparks and rotate the dials until both uh, are activated to release the lock. Oh, excuse me, guys. <sighs> Alright, Q and E do the green spark. Alright, that seems like that's doing something. Hey! Alright, easy enough. Well done! You're in! Awesome! Remember, use a disillusionment charm so no one claps eyes on you. This is a restricted area of the castle, after all. Yes, sir. All right, we can go in everywhere now. Maybe. Yeah, very cool. Dear Professor Fig, I am in receipt of your most recent owl. Apologies for the delay in my response. I'm still receiving a good deal of correspondence regarding the introduction of the not-so-recent stooging penalty in Quidditch, which, in my humble opinion, has brought the game into the modern age. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, that's Quidditch. Okay, but as to the topic of your recent letter, we at the Ministry assure you that any and all potential threats to wizard kind are taken quite seriously. I have made note of your concerns, and as much as time allows, the Department of Magical Law Enforcement will ensure that the matter is looked into, schedule permitting, blah, blah, blah. We value the opinions. It sounds like a real blow-off. Okay. Indeed. Are we stealing from Fig at this point? I can't do level 2 unlocks yet. Why not? What do I gotta do to do those? And do you? Hello, Mora. Okay. I assume when stuff starts moving, that's what we want, right? Yes. Brings back your rogue lockpick business on WoW days. Indeed. We're going to be rich. I have to read way too many notes. Dear Mirabelle, my dear Dot has been asking for you. Perhaps I can convince her to stop in for a butterbeer or two if you were to join us. It's been far too long. When you do manage to come by, I wonder if you'd be able to power it with a few of your plants. The more fragrant ones, ever since the troll attack, customers have been complaining about the smell of, believe it or not, old socks. Nothing I've tried seems to cover the stench. Hoping to see you soon, with or without the plants, your friend, Serona. Nobody seems to be in. I was kind of afraid of stumbling into the professors in their quarters. The 
Yeah, so I wonder what we have to do to get level 2 locks. But at least we can do level 1s now. Don't tell on me, ghost. Casting Revelio reveals authority figures in enemy locations, allowing you to scout ahead and remain undetected. That's another good reason to have extended it. <coughs> yeah, there's somebody there. All right, we need to get more upstairs. Too many notes. Okay, okay. So we gotta watch out for this person. It's level two. Well, we don't need to eat sweets. Oh, there's another puzzle door there. Hello, Amora. I'm greedy, I know. note oh my god my darling abraham with love m <laughs> okay that's too much too much too much reading fifty seven gold I hope it was worth it Do that puzzle. I guess later. Revelio. Ah, there's somebody there. We need to go up, up, up. My goodness. How are your students? What have you done to me, Moon? Rather poorly, I'd say. Is that so? Uh, we're raising a generation of coddled cape flappers that can scarcely tell the difference between Arcanite and Arcanite. Guess we'll have to be back here later to clean the place out. Early days when Warcraft was young and classes had skills exclusive for them, rogues had lockpick and could open certain loot drops. Played well. I what trickery are you up to? Oh no, we got busted. Crap, we gotta try again. I see. <laughs> got too greedy. Do we have to start from the beginning? Oh no. Do we lose all that stuff we got? Revelio. No, that chest is still open. All right, we kept the stuff we looted. I had a macro for your rogue lock pick business. Oh my goodness. This one was level two. It's cool that they you keep your loot. Yeah, I know. I know. You already told me that. Yeah, that note's gone. Be 
be back for that. Oh, there's another one. Oh, they left. That's level three unlock. Stupid prefect ratting on me up here. Avelia. He's still there. But yeah, the I, I still have that field guy from that. Statue. I wonder if there's a way to distract him. Another page there. Guess we just gotta go behind his back. This must be the prefect's bathroom. What if there's some way to uh, distract him? Oh, there he goes. Sweet. Hello, Mora. So I wonder if there's like a certain amount of these we do when we level up. Or how this goes. This one's really easy as these go. Just get motion on two places. And you're good. It seems to be only in the cardinal directions. Oh, that's not a good idea. Got that. I don't want that. All right, we got one more of these to do, right? It's up higher. can't like throw stones in this game or anything for ghosts we were supposed to like shoot at pictures and stuff but that's got to be a giveaway there's no way we can sneak right in front of him is there what are you up to now that didn't go. Oh crap! That, you are to be remanded at once. Oh man, busted! All right, we got all the things so far, right? Did we get that? Does that count as getting that first moon? I don't know. Mm, this guy is repositioned. 
Why do these students get to be up here? <laughs> no fairsies. All right, it says the hospital wing, so we must got credit for the other one. It's not really fair. Honestly, it should make us do it all from scratch, but you know. Mm. That makes him go upstairs. Not really what we run. It's not where I'm supposed to be, but <laughs> there are goodies here. We have to unlock everything now. It looks cool aesthetically, even if it's easy. How are we doing for inventory? Got three more spots, not much. Oh, speaking of, we can do these now. Another chest over there. All right, now we'll get back to business. Oh, 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 oh. okay, okay, okay. <laughs> it's like, no, you may not do that right now. Thank you very much. Uh, we can't use this to get any higher, apparently. Oh, God. Oh, we can, actually. This is the level we want to be on. What do we do? I can't do... Uh, oh, Petrificus to a Talus on him. Where are you going? I'm going to hide right here. Okay. Got that. You can't. Pavelia. I think we're good. Well, I suppose I should begin my rounds now. I suppose Professor Black knows best. Oh, crap. Students are terribly disappointed about credit being cancelled. Dang it! Huh. I had planned to bet a few. Boo! This season. We're gonna get in all kinds of trouble. <laughs> it's not easy. I need some pebbles to throw. My goodness, this is a lot to go through to get this, and we already have the lock. The spell, but maybe we'll get level two. Pavelia. Look at that big, fat, juicy chest in there.
Okay, we can bypass him. We know that. And go up here. I have to wait for her to come around. Yeah, I get impatient with stealth too. Avelio. There's someone guarding that chest there. I see you. Come on. How do I create a distraction? Pavelia. That was close. All right, I guess here the idea is that we just have to, uh, just go for it. Best, but the students Not are wait. terribly disappointed about Quidditch being cancelled. Huh. I had planned. All right, now we have to get out of here. Pavelio. We're going to get busted. All right, we just got to go for it. I was finally going to learn the Quidditch rules. It's a majestic sport. Encompasses the whole of the human condition. Okay. Got any snitches here? Apparently not. All right, let's just, just get this done. We can always come back here and loot later. Still level three. Still level three. Oh god, no. I see you. I see you. What you doing, buddy? Get past them. Can I jump off here? Can I want that? <laughs> Let's get this done. Got your demi guys, moons. Buddy. All right. Hello, Mr. Moon. I have the moons you asked me to collect. Oh, goodness. You're as fearless as I'd hoped. An excellent start. If we can collect more, it may shed some light on who's behind all this. Of course, I first suspected Peeves. He drove the previous caretaker, rancorous carp, to an early retirement with his intolerable buffoonery. The but painting that is all shh. In Oxmead, does it? <laughs> no. I am determined, with your help, to discover the identity of my tormentor. It's definitely intriguing. I'd like to help you solve this mystery. Uh, 
you, my friend, are a gentle person and a, a scholar. And I have something to offer in exchange for your assistance. Mm. Now, remember, the moons are only retrievable at night. Thus, I encourage you to use a disillusionment when necessary. What will I get? You mentioned offering something in exchange for my assistance. I did. Uh, once you've brought me enough moons, I'll show you even more okay. powerful forms of Alahamora. That's Not the every one. lock is as easy to pick as the faculty towers. Okay. How many statues are there to find? I don't know precisely, but I've spotted dozens. Seems they're everywhere I look. You have your work cut out for you. If you were to ever unravel their meaning. Understood. I shall keep an eye out. Alright, so we know our pathway to leveling our lock picking. Oh, I knew you were the one to ask for help. Uh, keep at it so we can solve this mystery. Okay. So that's cool. I wonder if we can go through that doorway. Revelio. If that guy's gone now. Looks like he is. Sweet. Alright, so this one... 5 plus 8 is 13, so that's 0. And then the other one is uh, 3 plus 2 is 5, so that's 9. And that's going to be this thing. Let's see if that does it. Sweet! We knows how. Avelio. Goodies, we get goodies. Four or six placards. What is that? Competitive school robe. So we're probably almost full now, right? We have two more slots. God, the looting I'm going to do now is insane. <laughs> Can we only get up here at night? Is that the thing? Let's see what else is happening up here now. That stuff there. How do we get to that? Yeah, there's a lot fewer prefix now that they're not trying to catch me. How nice to see you, my young friend. <laughs> Yeah, everybody's gone. Unicorn Fountain. Three more and I get a challenge. Oh gosh. Oh, she's not showing up. Why not? Relaxed garb. Avelio. Yeah, we want to get into there. We need her to go away. What's 
sick student in a note. No way we could do that right next to her, right? How do we distract her? Aki. Revelio. Yeah, she don't show. Off on another adventure, are we? Shh, you scare me. Are you just gonna continue staring at that forever, huh? I wonder. Oh god. Hogwarts School of Witchcraft, Wizardry, Hospital Wing, Attendant Healer, blah blah blah. Patient was injured during a Quidditch match. Uh, though, in my professional opinion, a blah hardly counts as an injury. In fact, if anyone was injured, it was me. I do not believe I've ever rolled my eyes quite so hard in my life. <laughs> it's a wonder I can even see to write this note. Okay, we don't have to worry about her too much then. I'm gonna save. Joe! Try it. I don't think they care when you have finished the first quest. It seems like it. How you doing, Joe? I saw in Steam you have a ridiculous number of hours in here. I would too if I didn't have to wait till I was streaming. If they aren't red, you don't think it matters? We'll find out. Oh, it's a level 2 unlock anyway. All right. So be it. What about you? Well, they're not red either. Okay. It is really fun. It's a nice game. Charming is the word I keep using for it. We have to get up there. I like the clock tower. It's very cool. I saw you note. 58 gold. Clock mechanics. One more. We get an achievement. Where do you go? Nowhere. Yeah, I was seeing those monkeys with the moons this whole time. I, of course, I don't remember where any of them are. Alright, we can't go down any further, apparently. Oh, yes, we can over there. All right, but that just... No, that keeps going. Okay. I don't know if I need to be disguised anymore. This isn't the faculty tower. You take out whole camps by being a sneak assassin? Yeah, I've actually been avoiding that because I know it's super OP and powerful and uh, I enjoy the, the combat, but yeah. Stealth is very strong in this game. Okay, you can't go that way. I like to go in their guns blazing, or wands blazing. Revelio. Revelio. Oh my god, there's all kinds of ways to go. I just love how dense the, ca the castle is, Hogwarts is, man. It's out of control. 
What's this about? Oh, I saw you, Locke. What do we gotta do? Oh, the little rest of momentum. Let's do that as soon as you open up again. Maybe. No. <laughs> Guess we just gotta run for it. Ouch. S Trolls are hard. I'm just getting down. The part about uh, catching their boulders and throwing them back. The other one up there was like this too. Now it's not moving. It's like it knows about me. You think... If I send them in. That would work. Oh, it does. Sweet. Lights. That's a new thing for our room. Oh, and a new thing for our wand. Can I get out of here now? Yeah. So let's get that one that was up here. Where was it? It was uh, up here, yeah? Yeah, the arrest of momentum seemed to have worked. But you got to sneak up on it. I didn't do anything. Sheila? <laughs> it's, it seems like if I twitch my mouse at all, it knows. I'm not moving. I swear I'm not. What's the difference? You notice the pendulum down in the bottom swings over some sort of design with those symbols on the floor. I got in the other one. I don't know if that has something to do with it. Yeah, this one doesn't seem to want to open. Yeah, it only goes that far. So maybe it does. We got the one. I'm getting distracted. I was going to wrap it up. <laughs> Alright, we'll have to go look now. I don't think we need to be invisible anymore. Unless, unless the... Uh, Unless that demands it. Revelio. Is this another one? Indeed, it is. Oh yeah, there are these symbols. 
That one was the one with uh, this face. If we arrest it right there. We want to do two. Arrest the woman. Nope, missed it. Missed it. Oh, that worked. No, it didn't. Well, sort of. They're on the floor as well. That worked. Oh, now we got one of these guys. I'm not here. You don't see me. Maybe if I go back outside. Behind it. saw me got it yeah so it seemed like stopping this close enough to the thing did it so like this one you gotta do right there oh, uh, give me that give me that Okay. Get rid of that. We gotta get back up in here in time, though. Nope, it's not on that side. It's that side. I don't think we'll have time. Mm, oh, we can do it up here. Okay. Let's go get it. Sweet. We must have all the things. Identified neck item. We're probably full now. <laughs> but yeah, they're at different levels so you can see them. Yes, now you know what to do. Arresto momentum. Revelio. So much loot. Level one. We got this. We got this. Alohomora. Been wanting the spell for so long. Unlock everything. On the lock goes flying. Revelio. Can I do this one? I can't. Alohomora. Alohomora. Oh, wait. Wrong. Here we go. Revelio. Oh, there's a mirror. Lumos. It looks like outside. Anything else Rebellion. in here? There's a kid there. That's Lucas. 
doing, man? Oh, and this is the last one. That's the unicorn. Uh, unicorn is at the end. Right there. Oh, this walked right through. All right. Oh, that's a Hogwarts secrets. We have solved one. Lovely. What do we get for that? Um, exploration. We get secret solvers bathing costume. <laughs> <laughs> and we also have field guide pages. We got the 25. Hogwarts Regalia Ensemble. Once you got the lock picking quest line, I concentrated on it until I could open all the locks. Yeah, I am going to be quite distracted by that. All the gear. Okay, that needs to be identified. That needs to be identified. And I'm full. I can't get any more gear. I'll just go right through that. So yeah, I guess... Uh, Revelia. That clock tower thing counted as a Hogwarts secret. Okay. That, this. The mind. that is a bridge but the um the mirror wanted us to go out here somewhere wow all the pumpkins now that it's uh fall oh feel good well of the four beasts And that butterfly is out here somewhere. Um, it's right here. Lumos. Come with me, little butterfly. We'll make the mirror disappear. I think they should just stay with the picture. Honestly. Like that. Because they're so nice looking. Then they go away. Got to get 50 pages now. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright guys. So I said I was going to go to the lock picking. And we did that. And then some. Uh, indeed. This is looking pretty cool here. Uh, so yeah. In between streams. I'm going to go ahead and empty my inventory. And maybe grow some more plants and stuff. But I'll leave all the content for when we stream next. So today is Saturday. I will be here Tuesday at the latest. I'll, I'll come sooner if I can. Um, I would like to be streaming this every day right now. But I can't do that. Uh, but for sure on Tuesday we'll do an earlier day one. Thank you Jimmy for hanging out the whole time. Joe for showing up. And everybody else who came through for this stream. I can't read everybody's names now, but um, yeah, I'm thoroughly enjoying this game. It's really fun. It's charming. It's uh, got plenty to do. It's got just oceans of content. You know, some of it is gamey, find this, do that, but for the most part, it's keeping me pretty amused and the combat is fun enough and the world is just vast and so intricately done um, and so on theme, really. I really enjoy it. Yeah, so appreciate everybody hanging out. If folks are watching or now or later and they appreciate supporting what I do, my link for my Patreon page is down below, which gets you into our Discord and all of our servers. And if you watch this now or later and uh, you liked it, you know, 
I would not mind if you leave a like on your way out because it helps people find this. Uh, my content hasn't been getting as many views lately because I had a couple things that kept me, took me off my schedule. I had a conference and then I had COVID and YouTube kind of punishes you for that. So we've got to get it back up there where people are uh, getting notified of the streams. So yeah, if you can do that, that would be great. If you don't want to, that's fine. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go get some sleep. I got to work tomorrow, but I will be back on Tuesday at the latest and we will play some more Hogwarts until then y'all. Thank you for watching to the end of the stream. Bye-bye.